Okay. Bear with me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, sorry about that. For those of you, I'll give a few minutes for people to swing back in. Uh, my internet and power went out for just a minute. Right as we started kicking off the last stream. So, uh, I will delete the old one because it was only two minutes long at most. Uh, but, yep, now we hang over here and see if people can find me. <laughs> Hopefully they can. Uh, if, you, if you're if you over here, hey, don't forget to give a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel, which is what I was talking about. I'll talk about it again in a moment. My goodness. I don't know what it is with that. It literally just flickered off, flickered on, flickered off, flickered on. And I got a new router a couple weeks ago, and the new router doesn't have any blinky lights on it. You know, the other one had, like, all these different lights, so I could look over and kind of see how closely we were to the router coming back online. This one doesn't have one, all that. It's a better router, though. It's definitely connecting faster wirelessly to the stuffs and things. I boot Minecraft back up because everything crashed, of course, as was to be expected. Uh, so bear with us a moment for that to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. My goodness. Talk about the channel a little bit today. Pretty uh, exciting things going on and happening and uh, coming up in the near future. If anybody's out there, uh, type something in chat so I know. <laughs> Make sure this one's actually working. I can't, I can't see it. Says go people are popping on though, so I'll take that hopefully as a as a yes. Uh, hopefully everybody's not over at the old one, the old stream. Unfortunately, the way YouTube is set up, once the old stream closes, there's not really a way for me to get back into it anymore. I have to start a whole another one. Um, I don't know if Steam is that or. Uh, Twitch is that way. I've never really tried. I think it's the same way. We'll see. Hey, somebody click like. Excellent. Four viewers. People are popping in. Hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry about that. My power and internet went out for just a minute. And then had to boot everything back up. Drama. Took a ride on the drama llama. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you haven't already, please be sure to click like on this stream. And hang out with me, right? So let's talk about it. Uh, I was saying we're getting... Uh, Sky Factory 4, we're getting near the uh, near the hard stuff, right? All the easy stuff's about done at this point. We're going to get at least one or two more achievements today. But now we're stepping into some things that are going to be multiple streams to get an achievement. The big stuff at the end, right? Let's take a look at that. Uh, we're done tab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8, with the exception of this one. Because I still don't know if it's fixed. 7 is all we have left. Not a whole, whole lot to do here, it would seem. But it, those of you who played this know that that's not actually the case. <laughs> because these are reactors. And while the fission one isn't as hard, we still have to get everything up and running for it. It's going to take a little bit of work. And then the fusion reactors will be monstrosities. That's going to be our the, the, lion sh the, the longest thing we're going to have to work on. Hey, Jan, welcome back. Uh, we may fiddle with some of the statues today. The black hole unit, I got to check its progress. I can't check the progress between streams. Because if I click on it to check the progress and it does happen to be full, I'll get the achievement. And I try not to get achievements off camera. Um, we're going to be able to get the folder one today. I have I made steps to make sure that we would get the folder today. Uh, and I still feel the last thing I'm probably going to do is the Matter Overdrive Fusion Reactor. Primarily because it's uh, world-breaking, potentially. Uh, the compression one, we probably have the sugar cane. We're going to go check on that in just a minute. Uh, we got check nether rack, and I may have to do some manual farming to help speed that up. We'll have to see. Um, and yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of where the statues is probably just the easiest one of the things we have to do. It's just a bunch of quick steps. Missed the good stuff. We didn't really do much. We didn't really talk too much. So, yeah, we're all right there. So, yeah, we're back in. Um, I do have, I did let these chorus plants run. I've emptied them out several times. We have, I think, around 160 fruit at this point, which should be enough to make the statues. Worst case scenario, i got to go break eight or ten trees. But we're going to let that sit for a little bit and try to earn a few more. Um, other things, other things. Oh, yeah, I finished leveling up all the data models. We had the achievement last week, but now all the data models are at self-aware. So we do have all of those completely finished, which is cool. 
Um, moon juice. Let's talk about moon juice. You guys, I told you I wanted moon juice. Hey, Teresa. I wanted to make moon juice. And when we were making moon juice, uh, we were trying to find a way to automate it. And we tried doing it with an automated user, and it didn't work. Now, I want to apologize, because I can't remember the name of who it was. But someone in the comments of that video pointed out what I did wrong and why it didn't work. And that is, when I tried to power the machine, I used a plug and not a point. So no power was going into it. So I figured I'd test it out and go take a look at it. And sure enough, an automated user will load crystals into light wells. Uh, so I have crystals here. This is... Uh, I got four light wells. It's whenever a crystal pops, the user just feeds another one right in there. Um, and then all the moon juice goes down into the tank that I have wirelessly from here down to the tank uh, and just building up. And it's drastically increased moon juice production because I don't have to keep coming up here and putting crystals in now, which is nice. Uh, so again, I apologize. I don't remember who mentioned it. in. The I saw the comment and jumped in and tested it, and you are 100% right. So this is now automated. So if you're ever wanting to start getting a bunch of moon juice, it's not actually called moon juice. That's just what I call it. Liquid starlight. It is very easy to automate using just a user and some power and a couple chests. So <clears throat> that's something we're going to work with. We're going to do a little building too, right? Why did I do that? We're not going to just... Do the achievements and then leave. I want to build some stuff in this world, too. We're going to do some things. But let me tell you about the cool thing. Actually, it happened while we were off camera there for a minute. Um, I've been watching all day. And for like the last hour and a half, channel subscribers was at 24,999. Like the last hour and a half. And I was starting to talk about that when the power went out. And when I came back on, we had hit 25,000. We're actually at 25,000 and one right now. So thank you to the two people who have subscribed in the last 10 or 15 minutes. I really do appreciate that. This channel has hit 25,000 subscribers. And that's amazing. Especially when you consider a lot of people at some point have subscribed and then probably left, right? Uh, and then all occasionally bot accounts get deleted, so I lose a little chunk when that happens. But that's awesome. That's quarter of the way to 100,000, which is uh, YouTube's next hurdle, right? When you hit 100,000, YouTube takes notice of you, and you actually get an account manager and people who work with you, stuff like that. I don't know if I'll ever get to that, but 25,000 was a, a big hurdle for me that I wanted to get to, and I want to thank all of you for helping me get there. Give you a little bit of information about the channel, for those of you who may not have been here since the beginning. So I started this channel on December 10th, 2017. So I didn't realize that. So that means uh, a little over six years at this point. Uh, with the highest uh, amount of views I've ever had in one day was 17,124. But since this channel started, I have had approximately 11.1 .1 million views across my channel, across all my videos and streams. That's a lot. <laughs> 11 million. Now, some of it are people watching this, some things more than once, which I appreciate as well. But still, over 11.1 .1 million views across all of my videos and streams. Uh, so thank you to everybody who hangs out and participates and uses my videos and comments and likes and subscribes. Thank you to everybody who's helped get this channel to where it is. Um, I have no intention on stopping, right? Uh, I'm never going to be like, you know, multi-million views or multi-million subs, but uh, I'm going to do my best to continue to grow the channel and provide newer and cooler things. Hey, Steven. How's it going? Um, so, yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. 25,000 subscribers as of literally the last 10 to 15 minutes. So, uh, thank you, everybody, for that. I have some exciting news. Uh, there will be, I am going to be starting a Patreon channel. I mean, technically, I have one. It's been there forever, but I've never really 
done much with it. Uh, I'm going to be rewriting the whole thing and resetting it back up, uh, where I'm going to be offering some new, uh, hopefully interesting perks and additional types of content and things for people who have asked for more. Um, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll probably have a short video or maybe even a short, I might do a special Patreon kickoff stream uh, to see, you know, I could do one of those subathons people talk about, but from a Patreon point of view. I don't know, I'd have to work that out. But fortunately, you can now connect Patreon to Discord, much like you can YouTube and um, Twitch. So when you become a sub or a member or whatever, or a, pa or a patron of whatever level, it will automatically assign you the correct authority in and access in Discord, which is awesome. I just got to get it all set up. I'm working on finalizing the perks now. So uh, again, very cool. All right, well, nothing me yapping about that. You came here to see Minecraft, by God, and I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> okay, so where we left off, you'll remember I made a very large fission reactor, and I made it wrong. Well, I did go back and finish making it. I have corrected it. So all of this is the correct size now. We've got a 24 by 24 by 24 fission. This is glass. You can't get through it. The only thing I haven't put down is the actual uh, command block, the primary, and the, you know, the brain. Because I didn't want to get the achievement by accident without you guys here. Oh, Akumi says, said hi to Steven as well. Hello, Steven. Uh, thanks for the guys on how to do some Sky Factory 4. It gets confusing. Thank you the best. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It is a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for coming by, and thank you for joining the community. We love to have you. Uh, Akumusi? Akumusi? Am I saying that way right or wrong? I, I love trying to say names. Akumusi is how I would normally see that. That's how I would pronounce that based on the spelling. But if I'm wrong, please tell me, because I'm always intrigued by the spelling and pronunciation of things. Uh... All right, so yeah, we, all we got to do is get the command block in, and then we'll get the achievement for having the, 50, the 24 by 24 by 24, but we won't get the achievement for powering it yet because we still have steps to do. We got to work on that today. So did I make it already? I don't think I've made it yet. What did I do with it? I had Oh, I must have put it in a folder. Uh, fission. I did get it right. Excellent. Thank you very much. There it is. Fission controller. This is how you control your fission. Oh, this is how you put a door. I put a door in. I did go into a previous uh, playthrough to see how I set up the door. Because <laughs> I couldn't remember. We will need yet another lever. I will grab one. Padoop. Click. It is a 24 by 24 fission reactor. Achievement. Size does not matter. Lies. All right. We've just got... The achievement for making the 24-24-24 reactor. Now, powering it, cooling it, we've got to do all that to get this one. But that's just the, hey, it's built. Yesterday, when we made it last episode, I actually made it 23 by 23 by 23. So, I was off. Stitches out in a week. Ugh. Stitches, man. I hate getting stitches taken out. Which is why I never snitches. Because then I'll get more stitches. And I don't want that. Stitches hurt. Especially in the hand. I've had stitches in the hand. It's not pleasant. So best of luck to you, Miss Teresa. All right. So that's there and ready to go. We still got to put coolers. But be even before I begin with the coolers, we're going to make the fuel. Because I need to automate the production of fuel and get it going. I did not increase the size of our fuel storage this week. I did not get the chance. So we may have to do that. Just depends on how full this reactor gets us. Okay, so we're going to make fuel. For that, I want a compact machine. And with that compact machine, we're going to automate the production of TBU fuel. My goal will be to have it literally in the front here. I'll break this stone. Oh, hang on. I got to sneeze. Woo! Well, that hurt everything, pardon me. Oh. I'm going to take the compact machine, I'm going to remove this block right here, put it in there with the thing feeding right up into it, and then the export will go into another uh, wireless chamber that is going to take it to a machine that breaks it down into different isotopes that we might be able to use for other things later. 
But before we do that, let's check the progress of some of the other compact machines and things we're working on. Uh, induction man, geothermal, compressed sugarcane. Let's go check compressed sugarcane. Let's see if any of these achievements are done yet. Or if not, how close we are to them. I'm feeling confident. Bam! There it is. Ready for it? Boom! Sugar high! Octuple! Look at that fatty McFatty. That is worth so much EMC. I spit all, slobbered all over myself. Hey, what's up, Gamer Grim? I just drooled. Octuple compressed sugar cane. That is, that is pretty boss. And we've got two more septuples. That I will actually potentially have a use for. Because while it's worth a ton of EMC, uh, there's another great use for that sugar cane. Uh, and that is when you're making your matter overdrive reactor, you throw things into it to make it bigger, diamond and emerald blocks being some of the best, but a compressed anything to that level is worth so much. 16 episodes. Actually, I feel 16 episodes are pretty short considering how much we've got done. So many of these achievements I've kind of streamlined now. That uh, I feel like we knock them out quicker than I used to. All right. Now, I know we're still not close enough here. I'm probably going to have to farm some nether rack manually and add it into this. Yeah, we're at septuple. I've only got three. And I need nine to make the one octuple. Octuple. Octuple to papa tuple. So I'm probably going to have to get a bunch of... Like go mine a ton of it, make a book. I've done it before. Basically, I make a bunch of the maximum size backpacks, and then I just go and mine the living hell out of netherrack. Um, I can also put more netherrack seeds externally, and we can work on that. Uh, but that I will I will prep a lot of that off camera because it's really the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna make me watch mine for an hour and a half. That's something I can get done this week as free time allows. So we don't have that one yet. What he's got so far? Sky, I would love to be that guy. Let me tell you. So, of course, let's look at achievements. I'm done all of page one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, with the exception of Maniacal Dendrologist, which has always been broken. Somebody told me it was fixed. I don't know yet. I haven't tried. Uh, a lot of these things, when you try to make them, like, there's a see, canopy button. Why am I pointing? That's not going to help you guys. One of them is canopy fence. Canopy button. The problem was, when you used canopy wood and made that, it just made a default oak button. You couldn't get any of the alternative wood buttons and fences. They kept defaulting to oak. So somebody told me it's fixed. I don't know. We're going to take a look at it. But this is where we're at now. We just literally, less than five minutes ago... Got the uh, 24 by 24 by 24 fission reactor built. Now, I still have, it's not running. I have no fuel, and we haven't put any of the cooling rods or anything in it yet. But the frame is built, giving us that achievement. And then I just got the octuple compressed sugar. Which one will I do next? I haven't thought about it yet. I've, I'm leaning towards potentially acid. But I don't feel like acid's that hard. You know what I mean? Because... Unlike this one, the world's not full acid. Everything beneath spawn is acid. So as long as you don't fall off, you're okay. I'm sure I'll fall off and die a few times. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel like that would be as challenging as a world that's all acid. You know what I mean? Uh, so let's take a look at it. Time to use my own tutorial. Um, possibly. <laughs> I mean, I know the main ones. I use quartz, lapis, uh, magnesium... Uh, iron, I, I, and I and graphite blocks. I, I, I think we're going to be able to figure it out without the tutorial. I know magnesium's on the outside middle, red redstone's on the inside middle, Glo glowstone coolers go up through the center, uh, with a plus sign, outer edges are your graphite blocks, and then it's two lapis and two quartz, but I think the lapis faces the outside, two quartz is in. Hey, Rachel, thank you very much! I appreciate it. That's a shot. I'll do a shot here in just a minute. Once we get done chatting. I will do it. Done for 16.5. So I started today's stream at 16. And 
literally two minutes into the stream, my power and internet went down. And it killed the stream. And I, it took me about five, six minutes to get booted back up. But when I do that, I can't use the same name I've used in the past. Confuses YouTube. So I did 16.5. Uh, after this stream is done, I'm going to go delete the two minute long one. And then I'll change the name of this one to 16. It happens. That's usually what I do. Normally, if it's like if I was streaming for an hour and then it crashed and I got back on, I would just leave it 16 and 16.5. Two halves of the same episode, really. But the other one's only two minutes long. I didn't do anything yet. I'm just going to delete it. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've got a lot done. We've really streamlined. Now, uh, other things. What else have we got going here? Black holes. Okay, let's go check our black hole. Uh, we've already got the water one done. See how close we are to getting this thing full of cobblestone. I haven't checked it in a few episodes. 632 million. That's... Not a lot, comparatively speaking, considering it has to have two over two million. So I'm going to have to take external measures to increase that. Uh, the easiest way that I've found to do that is to put a bunch of cobblestone generators with wireless trans, uh, wireless transfer, and then just wirelessly transfer it into this. You see, the problem that you're running you run into here is not that these cobblestone aren't producing it fast enough. It's that these cables can only transfer so many at a time. Um, so adding more to this isn't going to help because it's just going to sit there and not be able to transfer through here. Wirelessly helps. Compact and compact. Yes, com compactception. Something we do quite often here, and I enjoy. But uh, filled with generators? Yeah, got that one there. I mean, it's only some. We're going to make bigger ones. Uh, okay. So, the next achievement we're going to knock out super fast is this one. Fill any real file cabinet with a folder that contains at least one million items of any type, and then just right-click on that folder. So I got to just, I don't folder, click on that filing cabinet. So we're going to do it kind of. A lot of times I just transfer oak wood, but I decided to speed things up. I planted wheat. And the reason I planted wheat is because I had over 750,000 seeds. I planted wheat, and now we have over 1.7 million. And unlike Oakwood, there's only one folder for seeds. The only downside is, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> so we are going to go find it real quick. I've avoided looking, because I didn't want to click on it by accident. And, uh, yeah, that would be funny. But I don't like to get achievements off camera because I want you guys to see it to see I did it legitimately. Slime ball, quartz, oak, netherrack horn, lapis. It's, it's going to be one of the bottom two. Grass, diamond, usually. Uh, gold, resin. Okay, it's not in there. Porcelain, oak, terracotta. Let oh, it's apple seeds. Got excited there. I saw seed. Uh, that one doesn't have anything in it, does it? Uh, I haven't used all of those ones. I should do that. All right. It's in one of these. Uh, and it's going to be one of these ones here going to the right because this is where I started. Seeds. There it is right there. First one. Achievement. Going on your permanent record. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous about that one. I have had playthroughs glitch where you cannot get that achievement. It just won't give it to you. But that is already two achieve three achievements today. We got this one, we got this one, and we got this one. That's the bomb diggity, my friends. Three achievements in the first 30 minutes. And if you just tuned in, uh, in the first 10 minutes of today's stream, we hit 25,000 subscribers on the channel. Which is pretty, pretty boss. We're actually at 25,002 now. We've got a couple more, so... Uh, again, thank you everybody to, who's helped this by hanging out and subscribing and following along. It is greatly appreciated. All right, so that's the achievements we know we're going to knock out. We may get the fission reactor knocked out today. We'll have to see. Technically, all I have to do is put coolers in one corner, and we'll have enough to be able to get the achievement. Um, although I may do all four corners. I may just do one on stream and then do the other three corners later. Um, we need a compact machine. Because I need to make TBU fuel. Wait, how do I make TBU fuel? 
Let me see how much room I need and whether or not I need TBU fuel. TBU fuel is the intro fuel, the weakest fuel for a fission reactor in Sky Factory 4. It's the starter fuel, but it's more than enough to do everything I want to do with it. Definitely enough to get the achievement. Just realized I didn't have chat back up. Hey, thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. And Mass Buck Donor, I appreciate, appreciate that as well. So we're going to do TBU fuel. TBU fuel requires thorium-232. Okay, where do we get that? Boop. Why, you get that from combining tiny clumps of thorium-232. Okay, but how do you get that? Ching right here. No, no, decay. Oh, hastener. <laughs> I thought that said decay hamster. I'm like, how did I not know there was a hamster block? Isotope separator. That's the block that we need. We're going to feed thorium ingots into an isotope separator. That is going to break it down into thorium-232 and tiny clumps of thorium-230. This is where we're going to get what we need to make our stuff. Now, TBU fuel will break back down into 232. It's not as important. Uh, with this, I don't have to combine the little ones. Either way, just thorium ingots. So, it's getting the thorium ingots in there that I'm concerned with. Resource hamsters. That would be awesome. Hamster would be a cool thing. I'd have to figure out how would you make resource hamsters work. Because hamsters don't naturally produce anything usable. You know, like milk or eggs or... Uh, truffles for the pigs, things like that. Hamsters don't historically. Uh, you could get them on a hamster wheel, and maybe they could sweat hamster juice. But when I think about that, that's kind of gross. I don't know if I want hamster juice. Because running the wheel wouldn't, you know what I mean? Yeah, hamster wheel's what I was going with that, but just having a hamster running on a wheel wouldn't really... I can't think of an actual, relatively, scientific way that that would turn a product into what that hamster is doing. Like, if I put an iron hamster on a wheel and a gold hamster on a wheel, they're both going to produce power, maybe? But I don't see how that would produce iron or gold or what you'd do differently for that. I still think it's doable, but I think we'd have to, there'd have to be something with it. Maybe you could build a hamster farm? You know what I mean? Like a hamster farm? You got all the little tubies and stuff? And that would be awesome. And the, that's what I was thinking, Mass Spectre Armor, pellets. And then they, their little poops would come out, right? So maybe you have, a, a, imagine a little hamster. And it could be a single block, but it looks like little tubes. But it looks like a hamster running in it. Uh, maybe it has a little wheel in the bottom. I'm thinking in my mind kind of like an um, automatic sieve, like an auto sieve or an auto hammer. Inside the block have a little hamster farm. And then you sit it on a hopper. Or, or, or like extraction cable, and the little pellets go down into a, uh, a packager or an auto crafter, and nine of them together make a thing. Make a hamster shit farm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think there really isn't anything that uses poop as, as the actual product, and I, I'm unhappy about that. You can use chicken manure to, as, as bone meal, but it itself doesn't make anything awesome. I feel like poop should be more important in Minecraft for some reason. I guess you use manure to make, uh, you do use manure to make some of the uh, mulches. So I guess that is some use for poop, but it's non-poop specific. Any animal will provide it. Sorry, all this poop talk. All right, let's make an isotopic something or other. Iso, it's iso, right? Isotopic separator, there it is. Do we have what we need? No, we need two of these. I made three by accident. Okay. Poop mod, you just got to eat it for sustenance. I don't eat poop. I don't know about eating the poop. Eating the poop is not leading me in the direction I wanted to go. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, instead of putting this in a compact machine, I'm thinking what we do is we make it part of auto crafting. So if I have an export cable like this, that pulls it into a chest. Because most of the time, 
those cables won't work when connected to most machines. So I pull it into a chest and then have the chest feeding into the isotopic separator, which is separating the things and then going right back into the system. Then I could have another auto crafter making the TBU fuel. And then I could have another export cable pulling that out and wirelessly sending that to a chest right here, which would feed into the system. And then the export would just auto feed that byproduct into a folder. I think that's, I think that's how we're going to shoot for it. All right, I'm going to take these out of here. I don't need these anymore. I'm going to need that, but not for right now. Uh, I can even use this chest. This is actually already set up perfectly. I don't even need to mess with that. That'll be awesome. Conversation is amazing. It's true. I mean, we're always looking for new fun ways, right? That's the thing. We're looking for fun ways to do stuff we already can do, but in a way that makes sense. And I say that because, like, I want it to work, right? I want to I wanna be able to look at this like egg, chickens, make eggs, breed two chicken, get special egg. That makes sense to me. It's obviously not totally scientifically profound, but in my mind, I could see how that works, right? <clears throat> That's kind of how I'm trying to put stuff together. That's just on Twitch, Jan. Unfortunately, YouTube does not provide that option that I'm aware of. Unless that's something new. Yeah, unfortunately, there's, there's no way to stop the ads with a membership. Wish it did, though. <laughs> just for folks in general. All right, so we're going to take our isotopic separator. Okay, obviously we need to fix that. Oh, God, don't put anything in there. It didn't. Okay. Let's so get ourselves a torch. We'll do a little welding. Doot. Uh, the thing with ad blocker, okay, I don't, I don't get me wrong, I understand the, the win of ad blockers, but as a, I don't use them, this is me, I don't use them because I know that ads is what makes money for my channel, so I try not to mess it up for other people. But uh, I do think that being a member should exempt you from seeing ads, so I totally understand why you'd want to do that. Because again, like on Twitch, that makes sense, right? Okay, so there we go. We got that set, so that should feed up into this thing. Let's see, side configs, input slot, yeah, input's fine. And then output slot should be, no, not out, get rid of that. No, output slot's just going to be on the right. I like that this one's labeled. That's a nice, that's a nice thing in nuclear craft. They straight up label them there, which is a nice, a nice little perk. I am going to need to give that power, though. Ow! Burns! My butt! Where'd my Paxil go? Good lord. Almost dropped that in the lava. <laughs> no, it's all good, boss. I understand. I don't like watching him either. But, you know. I try not to... I, you know, one of my biggest pet peeves is hypocrisy. So, I'm not going to ask people not to uh, skip my ads and then, you know, I skip other people's. That'd be rude. <laughs> Alright. Now it's got power. I got the power. Dun, 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 dun. Some 80s music right there. You guys, or most of you are too young to know that, but that's okay. Already got some, enough of these. -chink. So those are good. All right, so basically all I need to do is export thorium into that now. And we're already done halfway there. That's excellent. Let's grab thorium. Let's spell it wrong first, though. What? Oh, that's 26K. I thought that was... I thought it was just 26 for a minute there. I was about to freak out. Freak out. All right. That's pulling that in. There we go. It's working. Okay. So now I need an extractor. Item extraction cable. Which is going to go there. We are going to singe that because I don't want these to connect. Uh, well, they wouldn't, I guess they really wouldn't anyways. I guess they might. Interesting. Sorry, thinking in my head. I'm going to need another cable. Well, yeah, I need a cable. Let me do that. Let me get a cable. I'm going to need a chest. So I kind of want to keep these on the level, so I'm going to set that there. I should be feeding those in, which it is. And then I'm going to need some more cables of the correct kind. I will need some, I'll need one of those. 
I'll need an import. I don't think I have any import cables left. Import. Delicious. Freak out. Oh, I didn't grab that other cable. Crap, what did I do with it? Oh, it pulled it out of my inventory, I see. And we'll do that. And then we'll do that. We'll make that a 10. Then we'll get some upgrades. Uh, spend enough money on gaming stuff. I'll get you there. YouTube Premium, never another ad. You know, that's legit, Tyler. That's 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 a legit fix for that issue, 100%. And, uh, and for those people, and it actually still helps the creators uh, to a degree. So when I get, like, my month thing, whatever, and the way it's broken down, um, I anybody who watches my video and has YouTube Premium, I still make something off of that. I'm not saying this because you should pay me. I'm just saying for creators that you support in general, that they would still benefit. Everybody you ever watch with your YouTube Premium would still benefit from the fact that you have YouTube Premium. Is where I'm, was where I was going with that. Okay. Let's see. Whitelist. Blacklist. Whitelist. You cleaning out? You are not. I did not click it right. Click it again. Click it again. Blacklist. Why are you not working? Oh, oh, I know. I didn't put any upgrades in there. That would be why. Do I have any? I do. One, two, three. It's going to go super slow if I don't get the upgrades in there. Freak out. There we go. It's just it's yanking as quick as it goes in there. So I'll throw these other ones in myself. Okay. <laughs> You're all right, Sky. You have to make up nothing, man. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so that's going in. Excellent. So, now we have to craft the TBU fuel. Let's get back to that. TBU fuel. TBU. Okay, so TBU fuel is thorium-232, which I now have. It's working. So I need to auto-craft that. Now, the only thing I'm concerned with is how I'm going to do that. Like, it's not hard. Like, I know how I'm going to do it. That's poor wording on my part. Let's get that over here. Hey! Pop that up there. Oh, there's a delay on there. <laughs> hey, that was your fifth super uh, super on the stream. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, we're going to need a crafter. Crafter, 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 crafter. Don't have any auto crafters made. We're going to need one. It is the loneliest number. Cables. I'm going to need a processing cable. I'm going to need energy cables. Energy cables is so that, you know, there's energy. It's got power. Going to need a lever. I spelled lever right. Good. Lever. Padoop. Padoop. I, I padooped incorrectly. I apologize for my poor padooping. Thorium. There it is, right there, this guy. Okay, so, right out the bat, we want to go in here, and we want to go, cha 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 So there's nine of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, leave those in there. I'm going to go over in here. Boop. I need, well, I guess I should do this. One, two. Okay, one of these needs to be a folder, so it's got a place to go. Let's get that in there. For auto crafting, you gotta have a folder set up first. Is this one open? Ooh, they blend in. Four of those five were to me? It's possible. Uh, fifth super on a live stream. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, I guess it doesn't say just mine. In general, that's still awesome. When YouTube loses out from ad blockers. Oh, YouTube's not happy about it. But, again, <laughs> membership had a way people could pay a membership as part of a perk or something, that'd be awesome. If they don't give any other way to do it, what you're going to do, right? Okay. So now we go back over here to our auto crafter. It's ready to go. We put in our cable. We say, oh, I lost all my thorium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So we're going to go in here. Say nine of these is one of those. Transaction valid. Go. And because there's only one thing, 
I don't have to do anything to it. Is it working? My God, I don't even know. TBU. Oh, 10. Yeah, there's 10 in there, so it's working. I did not make 10. Okay. There just wasn't a lot from this thing yet. It's Even with the speed up, this is not the fastest. But that's okay. That's still working. Longest delay. Oh, everything on YouTube has a longer delay. I mean, Streamlabs, OBS is what I use. Slobs. <laughs> I just like the name. Um, it's definitely originally designed to work with Twitch. Hands down. They've made so many positive changes to work better with YouTube. It's infinitely better than what it was when I first started streaming. But it's still very, very much still uh, going to be more Twitch-lined. I mean, again, I, I really wish... I would YouTube only probably at this point if all of the type of extensions that worked on Twitch worked on YouTube, right? Like if P and the pr Prime sub Prime YouTube would be option as well. But especially like like if I want to play Seven Days to Die and I want to turn on the Twitch extension so that way you can do you can if make things attack and kill me and sick summon zombies and all that craziness. Um, I got to do that on Twitch, you know? So, Okay, so all that's up, all that's up. With that. It's now making TBU fuel. Now we go to phase three, which is getting it in the machine. So I'm going to pull another export cable. I'm going to spell it wrong. Then I'm going to spell it correctly. How do I not have any export cables? Yeah, there they are. Oh, that's storage link. Storage import. I don't have any export cables. Okay. Fixed it. And we're going to put you there. Oh, I should have got more gray cables. But what happened to my gray cable? Give me those. Jerk. Put a couple more there. I got room for a few more. Uh, maybe not with that light in the corner. I can move that up. Put that, put that there before I increase the height over here. Okay, so I'm going to need yet another chest. Which is going to go here. Padoop. And then I'm going to need upgrades. Uh, this one, one, two, three. One stack. Let's go ahead and grab our TBU fuel, which is not a lot yet. That's why I wanted to do this before we started messing with coolers. Give this a chance to, 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 to perk up a little bit, I guess you'd say. I don't need power for anything I'm going to do. Okay. Put that in there. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. That. Go. Should start pulling them in there. Yes. There's not many because I had them all in my inventory, but there we go. That's going to go in there. Then I need another cable. Item extraction cable. I'm going to need a wireless spelled correctly. Wireless. And I'm going to need a GPS. That's not GP. I don't have a GUPS. GUPS. I'm going to need another chest for that. Okay. Cool. And the gang. I've already welded it, so that's fine. Did I crank that up? Oh, that's part of the problem for my speed of it. Fix that up. Is that one okay? That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. Um, then we're going to put our wireless... Now we gotta go put this chest down so I can gups it. Actually, let's uh, while we're here, let's grab another cable. So I'm gonna need that too. And we're gonna go. Wah! Well, unexpected, it would seem. Okay. Do, do, excellent. It'll work just fine. Takes care of that. I'll get a block of some kind. Andesite will work. Yee -hee -hee. And actually, you know what? I didn't. I was going to fill, put something under the chest, but I guess I really don't have to. The obsidian takes care of that. I don't have to worry about anything falling in now. Kerplank! And then I'm going to gups that chest. And I'm going to connect that. And put up. All right. So GPS has now connected. T 
TBU fuel is kicking into here, which will then overflow into this chest and will also overflow into this chest. So we've got plenty, plus it's got its own folder. So I don't ever have to worry about that not having space. Now, the only other thing we have to do is we have to get the GP, the stuff to come out as well. So let's get ourselves yet another chest. Oh, no! Didn't make a folder for this. One moment. Dilemma. If I forget, I'm going to fill up my overflow without thinking about it. Wrong one. There it is. Okay. Let's fix that. All those out of there. What, why is Thorium 232 in here? I don't have a folder for that either. Okay. Draven's failing on many fronts. This is not a surprise to anybody. Oh, there it is. That's why that hasn't made. It's been sitting in the storage slot. That'll go quick. Throw that in there just in case. Okay. Uh, odd question. Love question. Oh, wait. Here one second. Um, next time I'll join the channel instead for a month. Oh, awesome. That'd be great. Thank you. Membership is for 30 days. That's correct. Jan has an odd question. Can item extraction cable pull from ME storage to send to a filing cabinet in simple storage? I'll be honest, I don't know. I've never tried to pull from ME storage. In my experience, what I can remember, I had to pull the items from ME storage using some type of bus, uh, storage bus, into a chest... And then I could connect the checks to an extraction cable, which moved it into a filing cabinet. But I want to say there had to be that buffer, something that ME uses to move stuff into a chest first. Unless, that, of course, that could have updated. But that's what I can vaguely remember from the couple times I fiddled with it. Z says, Mod Pack Recommendations, Awakening Sky of Diamonds. That sounds familiar. That sounds like something that's either been recommended or I tried it. I'll take a look. I don't remember offhand. But it does sound familiar. Polar, what's up, buddy? Good day, sir. Yes, we are jamming. J -j -j jamming. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's nothing wrong with ellipses. I use ellipses all the time. That's something I do in, in my in my well, that's not where that goes in my personal conversations. I trail off into ellipses like crazy. Okay, that can have a folder. That can have a folder. These are things that did not that can't have not have a folder. That can have a folder. Okay, so that 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 can go in there. Just stay on top of things. We're gonna be making a lot of stuff today. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's, it's my thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, put that in the right order. All right, so now we got the, I got to pull items out. That's what I was working on. Okay, so I need another extraction cable, item extraction cable, and a wireless. I don't even need a buffer chest for this. It's only going to pull out one at a time. And then I need another GUPS. That is not a GUPS. I need blue dye. There we go. Ugh, itchy eyeball. My lord. Ugh. Okay, and this is the new import? Yeah, that's the new import we've been using. Okay. It's a generic import. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. Fix. That. Fix. So now as it uses fuel, it'll put it into the system. Now, I don't... I don't even know why I make that. I always make those bags. Um, uh, that's disenchant. No, let's just take it apart. I, uh, I'll have to make a folder for the new fuel it takes apart. I just can't do that yet until I have some. Uh, mostly... <coughs> Okay, all right, so now we have the actual reactor externally is built, the shell, and we have fuel for it, which we're currently sitting on 64, and it's filling up the cable now. Then it'll start overflowing. Oh, there we go, it's in the chest. It's 62 in the chest. So it's getting there. Now we have to work on actually making the thing, the actual... Coolants. This is the thing that takes a little while. So let's go to... Actually, let me do it this way. 
Nuclear craft. Nuclear craft. Look at all these coolers. Now, if this is the first time you've ever done or ever seen a fix, uh, fission reactor be built from nuclear craft. Brief tutorial about how this is going to work. There are specific things you need, like reactor cells. These are things that actually are going to make the power. Okay? And you can put a whole bunch of them in your reactor. Now, these will generate heat. Heat inside your reactor. So you have to find ways in combination of using the different coolers to keep the heat down so that your reactor does not have a meltdown. Now, to my memory, fission reactors do not explode, but they will melt down into a liquid that is very flammable and damaging. So you want to avoid that if you can help it. So you want to, if you can, you want to have a higher number of cooling than you have a, than uh, than you do of the number of heating, right? So if you're heating up to twenty thousand, you want to cool up to twenty one thousand. You know you're cooling more than it can produce. So in one minute, it produces twenty heat, but you're cooling twenty one. You're always going to keep it cold. Kind of give you a feeling for that, right? So. Reactor cells. That's the key. That's going to use these things are going to power. Now, graphite blocks, when set beside those, will make the power increase, make power production much, much higher. But it also drastically heats it up as well. Hopefully everybody's following me on this. So, you're going to use a combination of reactor cells and graphite blocks to produce your energy, which will produce heat. You then have to use the coolers to cool it down. Each type of cooler has specific requirements in order for it to work. So let's take a look. Water cooler, one of the easiest ones to make. Cooling rate of 60 heat per tick. It's not heat, I just it's heat. Just go by heat. I'm sure it means a different word, but that's what it means either way. It must be adjacent to at least one reactor cell or active moderator block. Okay, so that's the two things we just talked about. Reactor cells that make your power, and your graphite block, which is your moderator block. There are other types of moderator blocks that will make it work even better, but it also drastically jumps up the heat, like a beryllium block. We're not going to use those. We're keeping it basic. I'm showing you how to get the achievement and how to get a fission reactor that'll produce a lot of power. Can it be better? Yes. Feel free to fiddle with all these things we're going to talk about and find a better way to make more. For sure. But we're using the weakest fuel and the easiest to make stuff to get the achievement. So graphite blocks. So we're going to use water blocks. All right. So right off the bat, I know I'm going to need 18 water blocks. Why do I need 18? We're going to get to that. We need to make empty coolers because we're going to fill them up with the thing that's going to do the cooling. Okay. So empty cooler, that's tough alloy and steel. These are things that I have in spades. We are not going to have a problem. I got over 30,000 of each. We are going to be good. I'm making a bunch because we're going to use them to make different ones. So let's get these in here. That's good. Now, we need 18 water. Now, that's a water bucket. I'm going to get a bigger water bucket. A supreme water bucket, some might even say. Uh, where are you? Give me, give me more water. There we go. So we want... No, I don't want buckets. I'm going to go back to reactor. Nuclear craft. All right, I'll show... We're going to do one corner of the machine. One corner of the reactor is going to produce everything we need for the achievement. But I want 18 of these. I will not need more than that for one corner. Go look at it. See how these are going to go in. Ah. So, this is the corner, right? I'm going to have cooling blocks on the outside. So, these nine squares, leaving one square on each side open, is the bottom of my cooling tower. Okay? I'm going to have nine at the top, too. I'm not going to put them in yet, because we're going to build stuff on top of them. So that's why there's nine here. Nine on the bottom, nine on the top. Again, it says, must be adjacent to one reactor cell or an active moderator block. So that's what we've got. 
it's, it's going to be touching those other things. Let's talk about those other things. So now I need reactor cells, and I'm going to need a chunk of them, and I'm going to need graphite blocks. I need a chunk of those too. Fortunately, you can use a building gadget for these, which is very... No! What did I do with my remote? Did I throw it in my... I threw my remote in my remote. I hate when I do that. Okay, I'll fix that in a minute. So, let's look at our pattern here. No, get in my inventory, you jerk. Okay. Here's how we're going to... Now, let me see if I remember correctly. Moderator block. Why are you not let me put that there? What? What? Oh, the remote just appeared on its note. Now, that was confusing. Huh. Hold on. Let me do my math. I got to make sure I put these in the right spot. I'll go back to nuclear craft real quick. I'm going nuclear. Okay. So, it's a water cooler. Lapis. Must be at least one reactor cell and one reactor casing. One reactor cell, which is going to be this. And casing is the outer wall. The glass counts as casing. For case you were wondering. Why is that there now? Okay. All right. And then I know I'm going to use magnesium, which is one reactor casing and one moderator block. Okay. Now I know my pattern. That, 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 that. Okay. So this is going to be my pattern going all the way up, except for leaving room for the, the, the ICs in the middle. Okay? And then these are going to go here, 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 here. Those are going to go all the way up. But we got to put something in the middle. And in the middle, we're going to use glowstone. Glowstone must be adjacent to two active moderator blocks. So by putting it in the middle, it's actually touching four moderator blocks. But it's between two of them. So if it's not meeting those requirements... I didn't mean to put that there. If it's not meeting the requirements, it doesn't do its job. It's not going to be cooling. And we need it to do that. So we'll go one should be enough. Okay. I'm just going to drop these by hand. So basically, that, and I've got room for one more block on top, which is going to be that guy. Because that's the top, right? Okay. Now let's make this work. Funk. Building gadget. Go, go, gadget, Draven. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. Okay. And we'll go ahead and finish up the one that didn't get up there. Okay. Yee Let me get down here and grab that guy. We're doing the same thing with the moderator blocks. Moderator block, moderator block, moderator, moderator. Okay, same thing. Grab the extra, fill in the one spot, fill in the one spot. And then we can put the rest of our water coolers. All right. So you know we got glowstone in the middle. The glass on the floor throws me off. I wish I hadn't have done the glass on the floor. <laughs> that messes me up. Um, oak wood in my ME storage. I want advancement. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. All right. So let's make sure that's all the way up. Yes. Okay. So now I need to put coolers all the way around the outside of them. Now, on the outside, I'm going to be using... Grab these out of the way. I'm going to be using lapis, which is 120. It says 120 heat. It means cooling. 20 H's per tick. Must be touching a reactor cell and a reactor casing. So that's going to be on this spot, because it'll be touching this cell and a casing. This cell and a casing. I'm going to do that on two of them on each side. So that's four total. So we need... I usually just go ahead and... That's cooler. I usually just go ahead and make four stacks. It doesn't take a whole stack of 64 to go up, but odds are I'm going to fill up more of this later, so why not? So that's going to go there, 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 and there. Now I can't put them on this side, 
Because remember, the requirement means it has to be touching one of these and an outside shell. And over here, it wouldn't touch an outside shell. So we've got to use something different here. So in the middle, we need something else. Because if I put it in the middle, it won't be touching a reactor cell. Because that's graphite block, right? So for that one, this is where we go to magnesium. Magnesium has 110, which is almost as good as the lapis. The lapis is pretty good. Diamond's awesome, too. Must be attached to one water cooler and one valid quartz cooler. There are combinations you can really use to make this complicated. I'm showing you the easiest ones that I've found. So we're going to use magnesium. And we need two stacks of that. Because magnesium, again, must be touching a reactor casing and one moderator block. So the casing, again, is going to be the outside and one moderator block. I have nothing for this corner. Because it's not touching anything. That corner is going to stay hollow. At least at the current point. Wait, what was gold again? One valid water cooler and one valid redstone. Yeah, okay, that wasn't it. Ten, two valid lapis coolers. Two valid lapis coolers along a common axis. Gotta hate axis. Um, that would technically be the corner. Right? Isn't that a common axis? We may have just discovered something. I mean, help me out here. If I put that in here, what one was I just looking at? Crap, I've forgotten already. Along a common axis. Tin cooler. Tin cooler. Chicken lover. Up to 25,005. Thank you guys again for continuing to subscribe. It's been a great stream. A great things happening. And I appreciate you all hanging with me. I still owe somebody a shot. Hold on a minute. What have I got nearby? Ah! I've still got a little bit of Jaeger kicking. Let's go ahead and finish this Jaeger off. I need to go restock my alcohol. I may do that here in the next week or two. Hey, you guys want to hear something kind of cool? I don't know if you were all here before you heard this. I received a letter in the mail from the United States government. Uh, some of you may know that I have begun the process of changing to have an American citizenship. I am Canadian living in the United States. I've been here since 1992. This is home. This is where I live. Um, is Mystical Egg Crunch or Tinker's Construct? Or Mystical times one million is better than anything you're going to get out of Tinker's. Uh, so definitely go with, with Mystical. Nothing in Tinker's lets you fly. So that automatically makes Supremium Armor win. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I started the process and I've received a letter that I have an appointment for the next step of it on April the 8th. I'm telling you this because that's a Monday. And the day before that, the 7th, my wife is getting her birthday tattoo. So there are not going to be any streams on the 7th or 8th, a Sunday or Monday. I'm going to have to... T I may try to do one on Tuesday that week, just so I can at least get one in for missing those. Uh, but we'll be at the tattoo place all day, and by the time I get home, I'm going to have to go directly to sleep, because I have to be up at 5 a.m. to drive three hours to Nashville to be there for my 8 o'clock appointment. So uh, I will need to get to bed super early to be able to do that. I'm driving myself since she can't come in with me. Department of Homeland, can't, you can't take people in with you. Uh, have you taken the test yet? No, I believe that's what's going to happen on the 8th. It didn't actually say so, but I'm studying and preparing with the assumption that that's what's going to happen. I don't have to take any of the biometric stuff, which is like fingerprints and everything. Um, the whole fingerprints thing, normally you have to do that too, but because I've renewed my green card in the not too distant past, uh, they did send me a letter saying that they're going to be able to use the biometrics information that they took during the last one, which was photographs, fingerprints, all that kind of stuff. So I don't have to do that stuff. They also told me they're not going to refund me the money I paid for that, but that's okay. I don't care. I just want this to go through smoothly. My sister did it three years ago and became a citizen. Uh, so she's been a citizen for three years, and uh, it's just me and her down here, uh, so I'm going to switch it off. 
Oh, man, I can't threaten you have deported. That's correct! <laughs> It'll be all right. Uh, I took it just for fun as an American. It was the easiest test I've ever taken. Uh, we went over all the questions. We, were t we spent today at my uh, wife's family's. They had a big birthday get-together. My, birth my wife's birthday was in January. Her cousin's birthday's tomorrow. And her uncle's birthday was like three weeks ago. So they kind of all do it together in one. Today would have been her grandma's birthday, but she passed away a couple years ago. So they usually do it on her grandma's birthday. And while we were there, we were talking about it. I went through all the questions with everybody. And I knew 90% of them. Some of them I'm going to have to study a bit more on, like, the specific dates. You know what I mean? Like, what date did this happen? I didn't have all those. I did take four years of American history, high school and college. So I do have some experience with it. But uh, I'm still going to study. I want to do well. You're only going to ask me 10 questions out of the 100 questions. You just don't know what 10 they're going to pick, to my understanding, right? What tattoo is she getting? Let me take the shot. I will show you. Here we go. <laughs> I need to keep better liquor closer. Ugh. Hold on a minute. Ugh. Uh, My wife just sent me a weird text message. Uh, this here, I've got it saved. No, I did have it saved. Where the hell is it? Here it is. This is the tattoo she's going to get. Hang on, let me make sure that I've got... Let me pull up the reflection so I can see it on camera as well. There we go. So she's going to get this tattooed. Later, Sky. So yeah, she's going to get this little... Hello Kitty in a kimono thing. So, uh, Stephen, I'm zoned out a little bit. You're becoming a U.S. citizen. From Canada, but I thought you had the citizenship. Nope, I am a permanent resident. So living here on a green card. Uh, thank you, Sky. Have a good one, boss. Tin, tin cooler, tin cooler. I. What does access mean? I'm not a math person. Is it her first? No, it is her 19th. My wife has many, many tattoos. <laughs> she had most of them when I met her. I think she's gotten four since I met her. And she got me my first tattoo uh, for my birthday, our first year together. Uh, I have a couple planned as well, but we just haven't had the money to really put into it. I was going to, but then I kind of put the money into the convention a couple weeks ago instead. But... And the tattoo I got the first time did not turn out like I'd hoped. So getting it redone is one of the things I'm going to do. Uh, this is... I'm going to get the ODG right here. The ODG symbol for my channel. I'm going to get that one there. And then on my arm, I would like to get this one eventually. I've had that saved for years. So that's a big one I want to get. All right, so for the, for the tin one to work, it has to be between two lapis on the same axis. So will putting that in the corner help, or will it not? Technically, I don't need it. The pattern I'm going to use is going to work already anyways. But I was just wondering. Let me get this in here. There's that. Yeah. Hey. That, that, and should be able to sync that right there. That. that. Uh, a couple more, but I've been cut off. Gotcha. How many do I have? I just have one. My wife has them all down her arms. She's got a little black kitty on one ring finger, a little white kitty on the other ring finger. She's got a Celtic circle around her navel. She has a bat here on this side. And then she's going to get the Hello Kitty here on this side. But her arms are just completely covered. Well, not completely. It's not a full sleeve. But she's got tattoos all up and down. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to go ahead and skip the tin for now since I know this will work without it. But uh, then we'll come back. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Get fallen there. Jump back up. Magnesium. All right. All right. 
So that's two sides completely done. All right, so let's pop that open. I'm done with those. I'm done with these. I'm done with these. I don't need any more of those. All right, so now we're looking on the outside. Now, the outside is redstone and quartz. Let's take a look at redstone. Redstone must be adjacent to one reactor cell. All right, it's got to be the cell. So that's going to be here and here, here and here. And then when we look at quartz, which is in here somewhere, iron quartz, here it is, must be one active moderator block, which is just the block one. So the same idea as the outside, except these two don't require it to be touching an outer case. Uh, me and has just got every advancement. What do you do for fun after you've got all yours? Ah, uh, building. I mean, you know, building cool stuff with all the materials you put together. Night Axe is one thing you can do. I've got something large I'm going to build here very soon that I'm already prepping for. So first time I've seen that reactor with windows. Oh, yeah, with the glass walls. Uh, the last one I built had glass walls, but before that I always did solid. I do recommend making the wall and or making the ceiling and floor solid. Sometimes it does make it hard to line up the coolers when you think it's got to go down one more. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, all right, let's do the quartz ones first. Uh-oh. I am in need of something. Quartz blocks. Okay. Shouldn't need but four of those. So I only need one, two stacks of those. And you're there and there. Do, no, no, jumping back. Foolish dream. All right, so there's quartz. Well, we're going to get done a lot faster than I thought today. The last one is redstone. Redstone, I need one, two, three, four. Again, I'm making more than I actually need. Because I know I'm going to use some when I do the other corners later. But we're about done, to be honest with you. Yes, Draven, it'll work. X access would be everything on. Okay, gotcha. Okay, cool. So you could have I could have put tin in the corner for more cooling. I technically don't need it based on the amount of modifiers I have, but if you wanted to, if you're trying to make it more advanced, that's a good one to use. That's an that's an easy free corner over there, right? Uh, let me see. Why do you think is the hardest achievement? Hardest achievement, hands down, without fail, is making a building a nuclear craft fusion reactor that produces at least three, 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 three RF per tick. That is the hardest one. Doable. I've done it. I've done every achievement that's doable. Huh. Huh. I just realized I didn't put any ports to pull the power out of this damn thing. <laughs> Boy, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Where where are the ports? Where the... How do you pull the power out again? I forget. Um, let's see. It's not up there. What's this? Enderium coolers. Like some of these things do a ton, right? I mean, that's 120. It must be adjacent to exactly three reactor casings. At one vertex. So it gets technical. If you really want to jump in there and mess with it. Where's the thing that pulls the power out? Um, here we go. Fission reactor ports. That's what I'm looking for. We'll do four. I don't think four should... I don't think I'll even need four, but that'll work. All right. We'll break that one and that one. And we'll put two ports here. And then one, two, three, four. That'll be right. Put two ports there. Excellent. Then we're going to jump in here and grab some flux. Uh, flux plug. I need three more plugs. Do I have to have four? No. One would probably work. But the uh, larger you make it, like, the more you fill it up, the more power it produces, the more you're going to want to have. And I say that because these can only pull out a certain amount at a time. Only a certain amount can pass through a plug. And if you got, you don't want power just sitting in there being wasted. So, oh no, that's power in network. That's where I want that to go. Power in is purple. So this goes into our storage. 
This will put power into our induction storage, so that way that can be taken out. Uh, was our, uh, is the stick you get at the start of the game a joke? Or what? Yes, it is. It is. In older versions of Sky Factory, like 3 and such, you started with like a builder's wand that looked like just a stick. It was more of a joke for number 4. Melting your first coffee cup. Yeah, that's true. That is 100% true. I never thought about that. But that is correct. If you get enough iron out of it. All right. So here we have our one corner done. You could do all four corners the exact same way. And then you could do even more in the middle if you want to. And there's more you can add to this with gold and all sorts of stuff. I just normally don't need to in order to get the achievement. Let's fire it up. Padap. Gone fission. There we go. Achievement. So this reactor, maximum size with just the corner, is enough power to produce what's needed for the achievement which is 25,000 RF per tick. So there we go. That was a really easy one. In the long run, only because I've done it so many times. <laughs> so I knew exactly which coolers to use just from memory because I built it so many times. So that's what I use. The tutorials I have for it are built on using this pattern and using TBU fuel. Uh, granted, if you're going to use stronger fuel, stronger fuel will produce more heat. That may not be enough coolers, so you got to stay pay attention on that. I could not figure it out in the middle of that. Let's see. Who wanted to do the maximum of that? In the middle figured out. Uh, I've fiddled with it. I've gotten this probably about a third full. Like I've managed to do it all around the outer edges. But I, the exact middle, I, then I, by that point, I got tired of it, and I, I just stopped going. Because that was just me for my own entertainment. And I was like, okay, I'm tired of math. I do like that the door being open and me walking inside the reactor uh, doesn't hurt me in any way. <laughs> oh, no, the power's getting out the door. But no. So this will burn through TBU fuel, produce power. Item transfer nodes putting any wasted product away. I just got to watch for one to pop out so I can make a, a folder. Now, I'm not going to put these away because I may crank that up a little bit more. I haven't decided yet. I may do more corners off cam. But, hey, where'd my shrinky dink go? Dang it. Let's take a look at how our power storage is doing. Period of the game takes the longest? That's hard to answer because there's no real strict periods of the game, right? Most of the achievements and stuff you can do in any order. Probably the tab I'm on right now. Uh, just because this has the most bigger builds. The compression stuff takes a while. All the materials to make the singularity. I mean, this page requires the most materials to complete. But if you've been letting those materials build up as you've been playing the rest of the game, you know you're going to need them. By the time you get here, you can fly through a lot of this stuff. Um... So I wouldn't really say, because I don't always do it in the same order. Um, Twilight Forest, once you've met, once you figure that out, it's super fast to zip through. A heater on and I'm done. Hey, would you guys like to see a new t-shirt I've got? Of course you would. My wife's aunt bought me a t-shirt for Christmas, but it didn't arrive in time for Christmas. So, this is the first time I've seen her was today. So, she gave it to me today. I'm just going to hold it there so you can read it for a minute. But she got me that t-shirt and I love it. You will see me wearing that on stream. Okay, I'm going to put it down here now because my arms are getting tired. But that's, that's it. If you, don't, if you didn't get to read it, tell me and I'll read it. But yes. Keanu t-shirt for the win. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -ba -da -ba. What methods of item extraction do you think are the best? Item extraction cables. From Cyclic. In this pack, Cyclic is 99% of what I use. Uh, in the situations where I can. Not all mods work well with Cyclic. And you have to use other cables. Especially if you're doing something like gas transfers and stuff. It is extremely accurate. I also love the shirt. 
Yeah, she got it for me for Christmas, but it didn't show up till like three days after Christmas, unfortunately. All right, so this is getting pretty full. I'm going to need to increase storage. I'm not going to do that today. I'll, it'll take a couple hours to make the cells. Most of this is empty. I just need to put more cells in it. But you guys, when I made it the last time, it took forever. So I'll do that off camera so you guys don't have to watch that. It's boring. You've already seen me do it. You know I know how to do it, so on and so forth. Ma gas mechanism, exactly. Okay, okay. So now we have that. I'm just, oh, there it is. Depleted TBU fuel. That's what I was looking for. Hold on. I needed. A, I knew that I was going to get some of that. Oh, that one's full. All right. Let's look at what's next. Not that page. This is all the achievements that matter. Okie dokie. There's only a few big ones left. Let's get a little work on this hoarder achievement. Let's get some more... Let's get some more cobblestone going into that. Gonna need some buckets. Bucket. Why is this bucket always full of stuff I don't care about? Make me another Supreme one. There. Fill up with water. Fill up with lava. No, give me more lava. Is that full of lava or is that just one bucket? One of 32? I can only pull one out of there? Well, that sucks. The that was going to keep me from having to click on this 32 times. That didn't work. Power between the overworld and the shrinking mentions. Yeah. So really the only way in... This version, the older packs, flux networks will walk work across dimensions. Uh, so the flux network is the best. That's why I'm. That's why I didn't use wireless uh, cyclic energy nodes to pull it out. Uh, this is sending it to my storage, which is in the compact machine. So the purple ones, if it's purple, that means it's power going into it. If it's a blue one, which I think it might be over here somewhere. I can't really see them. The blue one network is what I use for power coming out of my storage. Right? So see there's blue ones here and purple ones here. Power goes in there. My machines pull power out of this. I want all the power going in here because I'm producing more power than the machines are using. So the excess is building up because I, when I start trying to run the maximum size fusion reactors, I'm going to need a lot of power real quick to kickstart it into running. So that's why I'm trying to get a whole lot. Um, now, when you get to modern compact machines, more modern packs where um, compact machine has been updated, there's now a power tunnel. Just like in this one, there's only two tunnels, right? Redstone and items, basically. Um, and you can't really run anything else through it. But um, with the... Uh, with the modern version, there's actually like power tunnels and things. So you can connect a cyclic cable or um, what's the other one we use? Pipes. Pipes is another one. That's a mod. P-I-P-E-Z, I believe. Um, or Z if you're outside of the United States. Uh, what power storage do I use? Yeah, I can show you that again. So this is called an induction storage. It's part of mechanism. And you can make it way bigger than this. Um, I just wanted it to fit in here, and I wanted lots of room to move around. The real key to storage is not how big this is, but how many storage cells you have inside. I have tutorials on all of this, by the way. If you want to build an induction storage, I have a tutorial that shows you all of that. Mechanism. Why am I not spelling mechanism right? What am I doing wrong with mechanism? Oh, it's mechanism. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, so here we go. If you look down here, you're going to see induction cell basic, advanced, elite, and ultimate. Then you're going to have basic induction provider basic, ad advanced, elite, and uh, ultimate. So there's two types. There's the induction cell and the induction provider. You need to have them one for one. So if I have 10 basic induction cells... I need 10 basic induction providers. Now, the more of these you have inside your storage, the more power it will hold. And the higher level of them you have, 
the more it will hold. So for example, one ultimate induction cell holds 204 GRF. That's a lot compared to only 400 MRF for a basic. So one of these is worth like, you know, 50 to 100 of these. So you want to keep, and you got to you got to make the basic one, turn that into the next one, to the next one. Takes a lot of materials to do it. It's very slow um, to do that. But once you put it together, like in this one in here in mine, I'm just going to show you. If I lose the power, I lose the power. Like we look in mine here real quick. I have 10 of each. And I'm just using the Elite. I didn't even go all the way up to Ultimate. Okay? Red sparkles means it's done. All my power is still there. You don't lose the power. Because they're stored inside the cells. I don't know what happens if you break the cells. You might not want to do that if you've got a lot of power in there. But this has been running and charging now for weeks. Um, 223 GRF is a lot of power. But I have made this maximum size, which I want to say is 18 by 18 by 18, or it's 17 by 17 by 17. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I could probably look it up if you really need to know. Tell me, and I, we can go look. But I have made the maximum size one and filled it up. How much is one GRF? That's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at the GRFs, KRFs. There's so many different ones, and I've never actually just seen a chart that breaks it down. I should look it up. Um, I, I don't know exactly what a G stands for. It's more than a grand. It's not grand, and it's not thousand. Unless it's a thousand millions, which I don't know what number that would be. What would a thousand millions be? I don't know. A lot. But it, uh, it, it's a lot. It's a ton. I, I apologize. I, I couldn't break that down just because math is not my jam. <laughs> um, 17, 17. I think we made that mistake before. I made it 18 and it had to be 17. I had to squish it down. Uh, but that's what I use for power storage. You don't even have to build one that big. I did just because I had a very bad feeling that you guys were going to ask me <laughs> to do the uh, nuclear craft reactor. <laughs> and so I, I wanted to have something that was going to hold it right there. Uh, by the way, did I tell you I work for INS? And I'll be keeping an eye on you, sir. Oh, <laughs> no, that's all right. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm above board, man. I got nothing to hide. <laughs> uh, giga is a billion. One GRF equals a thousand MRF. Okay. All right, cool. So Nidax just looked that up for us. I still find that a bit confusing because I'm not good at math. Uh, but... Clearly, from what he's putting there, it's whole bunches of power would be the technical term that I would use. <laughs> um, and again, like you saw, I only had 10 in there of each. So really, I, I kind of count if you do one provider, one casing, or one cell, that really equals one thing, right? Because you got to have both for it to work. So technically, I have 10 pairs of the second from the highest, and it holds a shit ton of power, as Lex would say. That is correct. Cobblestone generators. We're going to make a few. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to make... Uh, 32 should work. All right. Iron. Port. Diamond. Port. Blaze rod. And emerald. Am I going to use all of these? <laughs> yeah, I am. We're going to... Why not? What else have I got to do in my life? Let's see here. We're going to need cables. If I got 32 of those, I'm going to need 32 item extraction cables. I don't have enough. So we'll make another stack. And we'll take half and throw them back. 32! Math. <laughs> We're going to need wireless. I'm going to need 32 of those. I made 25. That is not enough. I feel robbed. I'm going to need more. One, two, three. So I will save those other three for later. And then we will need GPS in an equivalent amount. 32. I made 64, but I, I'll use them again. <clears throat> so this is what I need to get all of these working and crank up the speed on our compressed full black holes. There we are. <clears throat> See, Teresa says that. I'm just going to ban her. <laughs> oh, I forgot something. Dang it. 
you. I forgot something. That makes me so angry. I forgot a redstone torch. Hold on. So I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need to singe these. Do, 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 do. I really wish the remote worked across dimensions. That'd be nice. <clears throat> sure, get it. Okay. Where was it? Oh yeah. Full black holes. Go. Uh, did I ever get into programming? I have not. No. And I'll be honest with you, I don't have a whole lot of desire to. Uh, again, I don't like math. There's just so much math involved with stuff like that. There's that one. You know, let me move these over here. We're going to drop, fix, singe. Except I'm going to singe wrong that time. Doot. 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 I do wish there was a way to copy your formatting on this. Doot. Doot. No, singe it. Burn. Doot, doot, doot. I guess I can just stay up here. Come on, work. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, man, I'll, I'll catch up on chat in a minute. I'm sorry I'm not, I'm missing some of it. I'm just trying to get a bunch of these started for us here. Do, do, do. Uh -huh. oh, oops, I did it again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll need a lot. I'll need a lot of power. This is going to be deep more. Uh, the only thing you're doing more about... That's how you, are you using ME? No, I am not. I, uh... I'm not a fan of ME, so I prefer not to use it. I'll stop with that. I'm trying to be better. <laughs> so, uh, just as a warrant, as a heads up, while we're here hanging out, like I was talking about, oopsie, Draven forgot to singe one. No, no. Work. Now. I get that one. I didn't get that one either. Totally forgot. I was just chatting away. Okay. Okay. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, I am working on putting together a Patreon for the channel slash this and Twitch and the whole package. Uh, and hopefully, you folks will find the things that I offer interesting. I'm hoping to add a lot more opportunity for the community to participate in events and things. Uh, specifically, uh, with game nights and such that won't be streamed publicly. I'm still going to have community play nights. Nothing is going to be different about what happens on YouTube and Twitch than it is right now. Everything's going to stay exactly the same. I'm just going to have some other stuff available for people who might like some additional content or connection. But I promise, nothing will be going away. I can't put one there. I thought that might be the case. All right, there's my 32. That one. This is the slow part. Bear with me. Do this, it will move much faster. Whoops. Now, some of you may know that uh, I'm very much... What's your thing with ME? Boy Night Axe. Uh, the best thing I could recommend would be to check out the last episode of this. Only because uh, it's a very common question. I don't like it at all. For many, many reasons. That I have explained multiple times. And not that I'm mad, but for asking the question. Please not at all. But it's I, I've, I found that uh, I personally feel... Like, I have been too critical of it in the past, I should say. Um, because, again, while I may not be a fan of it, somebody put a lot of hard work into that, and a lot of people do enjoy it. And I never want to dissuade someone from trying it. I think everybody should try ME system. Some people are going to like it the most, and those people should have every opportunity in the world to do that. Just, and so I, I don't want people to feel I'm trying to dissuade them from doing that. So I've been trying to be better about it. I'm separating these so I don't put all these in one. Now, I didn't 
didn't work completely, obviously, because I've got those, but we'll come back. <clears throat> okay. Now, I can't click on that. You. Here we go. You. You. See, I have to... I should be able to just right-click on these. you, you got to make sure stuff's in there, or else you're just going to put this inside, and then it's going to just send it to wherever you wanted it to go. And you'll lose your GPS. But every one of these is going to have cobblestone in them already. So I should be okay. Did I have that one? Now, I don't know how if this is going to help much. We're going to try it. Did I get that one? Why do you use so many wireless nodes? I can answer that question. So I'm trying to get the achievements to fill a black hole to maximum, which is like 2.1 billion. And to do that, I'm using cobblestone as my chosen item. So this black hole is being filled up by all these cobblestone generators. The problem is, is that cables can only transfer 64 at a time. So it's 64, 64, 64, 64, 64. So if I just add more cobblestone generators to this, it's not going to help because they can't pass through these cables. They're already, these are already keeping it full. So what these are trying to do is this is going to wirelessly insert items into it directly as well. And the reason I'm doing one on every one is I want a stack per cobblestone going in there every tick. Right? If I all attached it to one, I'd have the same problem. I'd have the same bottleneck. All of them would be feeding through a cable to get to it, but it could only pass through 64 at a time. But now I have 32 stacks of 64 at a time being added instead of just running all of it through one wireless node, which would just do 64 at a time. So I'm making more use of the speed because these cobblestone generators are making cobblestone faster than this cable can put 64 through. If that makes sense. Well, that wouldn't make a difference. See, you can have things going to multiple locations, but I have them all going to one location, which is this single block in the middle. It still can only pass 64 items at a time. That's the same amount that's going through this cable, and it's the most that a wireless node can do. So regardless, the most it's going to put out, regardless of whether I have one or all nine, is 64 items. Having multiple slots are going to basically change your priority. So let's say I had each of these going to nine different chests. Everything is going to go to this chest first. And if that chest fills up, it would then go to this chest and then this chest, and then this chest, and so on and so forth. But if this thing keeps using it faster than this can put it in, having the other ones are just redundant. Now, this is much more useful for a power system. If this was a wireless power node, and I wanted to power multiple batteries at once, that would work, because RF, ca RF cables can transfer way more RF than an item cable can transfer items, if that makes sense. This is 64, but it's doing thousands of RF per tick if you crank it up all the way. I think it's 9,000. It could be over 9,000. Reference. Um, so that very often can charge multiple batteries or run power to multiple machines at once. It's intended to. The item one, I've never really had a need to overflow to more than one location. Um, because usually one's enough. No, it, it's, not, it's not faster because there's still only one output slot. Right? It has to pass through this hole. This says 63 because items are moving into it as fast as they're moving out of it. It's moving at that same speed. 64 items are going through this cable into here, and then this is spitting 64 items out. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's 64. But multiple nodes going to the same location won't benefit because it can still only put out 64 items at a time. Is there anything faster than cyclic? Yes. In this pack, maybe. Um, but, again, we're also looking for things that are going to be compatible with the black holes and the cobblestone generators. 
You know what I mean? So we're looking for multiple things to meet the criteria of this, which there may be other ones that do. The mechanism ones might. I don't think I've ever tried using those. I can't remember what the maximum speed of the best one of those is for items. That could be better. I've just never used it enough to know for sure. Um, but I think mech... Maybe leggy. It would definitely cause a lot of leg. But again, that's inside of a compact machine, so that might help with that. But I, you, I think he's correct. I think mechanism, it might be faster. But mechanism, you can't do wirelessly. So even though it's faster, it's still going to be limited by how many connections you can make on the black hole, which is a maximum of six, right? It's a six-sided block. So you can only have six items technically going into or six stacks of items going in at a time it's just how fast they can pass through that cable that's going to really be the key um so if i could do six mechanism cables and they were four times as fast but i could put 20 wireless making it 20 times as fast the wireless still might be faster there's a lot in there that could be tested i haven't take the time to put them side by side to see which one's faster which would be the best way to do it the best way to do it would be have it connected with several different ways and turn them all on at the same time and see which one fills up the fastest. It's doable. I just really haven't had need to do so. Uh, liquids and gases, 100%. I agree with you there. Uh, is this different than default Sky Factory 4? The only difference between this and default Sky Factory 4 is that you start in this glass dome and the rest of the world is lava. So you have to find a way to dig through the lava, which is why everything's obsidian, in order to expand your area. There is no clear building area. Now, that's really only affected here and in the nether. The end was unaffected, the twilight was unaffected, and the hunting was unaffected. Um, but aside from that, the nether and the, uh, the overworld were affected by the ex excessive amount of lava. Okay. Well, oh, cool. That was fun. Went over some edumacation stuff there. All right. Let's see what we're going to do. Well, we did that, so that we'll see if that helps with this item. Statues, we're going to work on a few at a time. We're not going to do all those at once because they get boring. Which means now we need to start working on nuclear reactors. Least favorite dimension. Hunting dimension. It's useless. And yes, I know people say, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. It's still useless. You don't need it to do any of those things. The hunting dimension is basically useless in this pack. All right. Okay. So we're, we need to move into nuclear craft. All right. This is going to require a lot of work. Because we're going to... Oh, wait, do I want to do nuclear craft? Check that. Change of plans. The next thing we're working on is not an achievement. We're going to make a mechanism reactor. Because a mechanism reactor is going to give me more power than this makes. It doesn't... And, and once it's set up, it'll be good to go. Do you need to go to Twilight for Boron? You do not. You can also get it in the Lost Cities. And you can also get it from a laser drill. That's where I get all mine from. Set up a laser drill as early as you possibly can, and set up more than one if you can. That will be uh, where you get a lot of your secondary materials from. I know there's probably some people out there that weren't here in earlier episodes, so I am showing off some of the stuff we've done today, mostly to kind of go over that for people. We'll start with this. I'm going inside a compact machine. Pay no attention to this. There's a compact machine inside the compact machine. That's where we're going. This is my laser drill farm. This is inside of a compact machine. All of these laser drills are going at max capacity. Uh, only one of them has these. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it in a minute. The rest of them I'm leaving on default settings. And each one has three bases. I could have put more bases potentially in here. But you got to have a way to get the, the items out of it. So on one side I have extraction cables pulling into a chest, which is filling up with ore faster than I can pull it out. <laughs> and the other side does the same thing. Both of them feed into this chest, and then this chest kicks out. This is another good example of what we were just talking about, where I have these things are pulling potentially 64, which is faster than this can pull. Although nothing's moving here. We're going to look at that. So all these laser drills are running off my flux network, and they are pulling all the different types of materials you can get. 
Now, these, this one laser base has six light blue lenses and is set at negative 10. That's to get me some platinum. That will increase your chance of platinum. Not guarantee it, but it increases it. And once you get a few, you can then make platinum seeds and then it's not a big deal. Now, what I've done is once you get out of there, every item that comes out of there feeds into this chest. It gets a little backed up sometimes. I'm going to have to look and see why. It's getting backed up on me. But it goes into this chest. And then it's filtered to go out of certain different sides depending on what type of material it is. So tritium comes out the top. And back here, it goes, we look at this. this is, so some blocks like diamonds and emerald and coal and redstone... You break those blocks to get what they're made, to get their stuff, right? So those ones go over here. This block places it. This block breaks it. This block picks up whatever made it and sends it through out, 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 of, out here, out into my, into my storage. Except for this one, because it makes way too many crystals. You're never going to need them all. Don't waste your time. Just let them, let them go be in a folder by themselves. It's also gathering me an excessive amount of experience. I'm um, six million over there experience. Now, this chest out the back and this chest out the top, they feed to a manufactory. Why is that one not doing anything? And why is tritium... Tritium goes up here. Yes, tritium goes in there, and it's being manufactured into the dust, which then goes into a smelter and cooks it and sends it out as ingots, which is these right there. These are the broken things, right? Redstone, lapis, dilithium crystals, sapphire, coal. Anything that's breakable runs through the breakable side. Now, some items, like glowstone, which I don't care about, and those crystals I was talking about, I just have them feeding out and going right into the chest. I just want them in their natural form. So out of the back comes things like... Um, let's see here. Out of the back comes... Silver, gold, tin, magnesium, boron, lithium, iron, copper, uranium. And then at the top, why is that happening? Oh, that's, oh, that's right. It's here. <laughs> this one pulls tritium, thorium, lead, nickel, and platinum. So those ones come up here and then get cooked out at the top. I guess part of the problem is, is that I'm getting more tritium than anything else. I'll take some of that out to help clear up the bottleneck. So everything comes out of this compact machine, feeds into this chest, and then is sorted depending on where I want it to go. Uh, and then this one down here is just not getting much action because I'm not it, tritium's blocking everything in the factory. So I'm going to throw those in there and let that cook up some of that tritium. Uh, let's see. Do you need to go to Twilight? Okay, we already did that. No, Nidex, I'm happy to help, boss. No worries at all. It's permanent mark, but the mobs spawn faster as people tend to do farms in there. Spawners in the mod pack, you don't need farms in the high dimension. That's it's correct, yeah. I mean, the high dimension is there to be used in a specific way, but there's better ways to get everything you would get, so you really don't need to. And yeah, don't worry. That's why I like the stream, so I can answer questions in real time. Okay, so for storage, I'm using the vastly superior simple storage system which are a storage network master and a storage request table. There's also a controller, but you don't need that. That's for later. So the best thing about simple storage is, number one, it doesn't require any power to work for basic storage and usage functions. Clarify that in a minute. So you have these two things. They don't store items themselves. What I'm using are filing cabinets. Okay. So if I put a sapling with a hopping bonsai, inside I can make folders, up to eight of them. And I make a folder for everything that that sapling can make. So every time that gets maximum size, boop, it drops its stuff down into that folder. Each one of these filing cabinets is connected to my storage system. So there's cables on the back of all of them going up into my system. So anything in any filing cabinet, here, there, over here... All of these, anytime I get an item, and not every item will go into a folder, but majority will. I take an item, put it in a folder, and then set it inside of a filing cabinet. Is it annoying to make everything into a file? It's not, really. Um, 
because you've only ever got to make one, right? And once you make it, you never have to mess with it. Ah, see, Lex says yes. If you stay on top of it, it doesn't, right? At the end of every episode, anything that doesn't have a folder, this is my overflow. If there's no folder, it goes in here. And heads. Heads have nowhere specific, because heads I put over here in my head collection. But at the end of every episode, I put folders. I fill up my inventory with the stuff. I go in here. I'll show you, like, super quick. I'm going to make one for GPS. Open that up. GPS. I have a folder. I fill up my inventory with folders. I just go down, slap in. takes maybe five minutes. Tops. And it's less and less almost every time, because the more I go, the more folders of stuff are already in there. So as long as you stay on top of it, it doesn't take long at all. Um, and then there are... Oh, I got the hiccups. I apologize. There are a few things that aren't compatible, like compact chests or backpacks, iron doors, squeezers. Filing cabinets themselves can't go in a folder, which I guess when you think about it, a filing cabinet in a folder in a filing cabinet does seem a bit silly. Uh, cheeseburger. Oh, this is the uh, very tasty burger. Some things just aren't compatible. The heads are also not. Um, but majority of items are. Also, I am also connecting to the Elder Utilities junk storage. Junk storage will store things that won't go in the folder. Again, not all of them, but it will stack things that are normally not stackable. Why is the Iron Door not compatible? Absolutely no idea. Just works that way. Yeah, I, again, it, for some reason, some items just don't work. Now, this is a rotating Iron Door. It's not compatible. No idea why. It just works that way. Oh, you know, I haven't messed with the door factory. Let me, uh, let me grab my clipboard here. Um, I got to find a way to work on the door factory for building purposes. I mean, I use it all the time, but we'll make some special looking doors. All right, so fission reactor up and running, looking juicy. There's almost no power. Because all of it's being funneled into my uh, induction storage we saw. So it's not storing any power at all. But that doesn't matter to me. This is the one I care about. Net heat generation. Every tick I generate negative 2,876. So my cooling rate at 31,000 is higher than the amount of heat that this is generating. By 2,876. So I'm technically generating zero heat per tick because I'm doing more cooling than I am heating. Which is, again, why I use this pattern, because it works. Um, and if I want to do three more corners, it's just going to produce way more power and still have zero heating, because the cooling still is more than the heating. So there's that. Uh, I don't use anything that has AE2 at all. I, I have no purpose for it. Can use patterns to automate folder creation. You you really don't need to. That's the you gotta understand it's it's so much easier, right? Like if you want a folder, compare this to other storages. I get eight folders for five pieces of paper. Each folder will hold 2.1 billion of an item. So if I make a folder for iron. I am probably never going to have to worry about that folder ever filling up. Unless I play the same world for years, which could be possible. I'm not doing it, though. You can also do auto-crafting. This is all auto-crafting. Auto-crafting the different ambers. Auto-crafting... What else have I got in here? That's emeralds. Auto-crafting lapis. Auto-crafting... What was that? What was that? Gravel. Sand. Redstone. That one's platinum. So I have auto crafting. That's all part of simple storage. Using simple storage processing cables. So I can still automate anything I want to have a lot of. Anytime I should need to. How are we doing for thorium? Whoop! Thorium's good. <laughs> we're doing okay for thorium. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So we said we're going to do a mechanism reactor. This is going to take some work, friends. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by making the reactor. We're going to start charging it, because that takes a while. Definitely, I don't even think we'll get it charging today.
But we'll probably get it charging tomorrow and we won't get to turn it on until next week. After we get it up and charging, then we'll go in and start making the fuel for the dang thing because that's time encompassing as well. So let's start with mechanism reactor. I adore, this is my favorite, boy, I keep spelling mechanism wrong. This is my favorite reactor in Sky Factory 4 now. And to be honest with you, I've really only been using it recently. Right? When you think about it, in the grand scheme, I, I, la, I the first one I ever made was in the compact, no, co compact, uh, sky grid version we played, which was two times ago. Okay, we're going to need a reactor controller. Ah! We need to make mechanism things. We're going to have to produce mechanism things. I don't have any of the blue ones. I don't have any of what's before the blue ones. I have some of those. Okay. I don't know how many of these we need. We'll make 12. That seems reasonable to me. 12, okay. And then... Did I make blue already? I did 12. Oh, good. We had enough. Sweet. So that's the first part. We got the top part done. Then we need reactor frames. Easy enough. Make a few. I'm going to end up making a ton, but that's a start. Uh, then I need a basic gas tank. Because I'm a basic bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, and it, there we go. Reactor controller. What is your favorite mod from this pack? Great question. It's going to be dependent upon what you mean by favorite. Like, most useful pack? Uh, Mystical Agriculture. I think Mystical Agriculture is the most useful mod in any pack. If I see Mystical in there, I know that I can make 90% of the stuff I need using Mystical. And even with the new version of Mystical, which is very nerfed over the old version of Mystical, it's still super, super helpful. Um, but I think I think Mystical for creation. I mean, you know, Flux is great too. I agree with Lux. Uh, with Lex, Flux is great. Symbol storage is great, but I still prefer refined storage. It's just not in this pack. Um, but Mystical Agriculture is my go-to in almost any pack. Uh, if I see Mystical, I know I'm going to be able to make 90% of the things I need with Mystical, if I need to. I usually try not to. Uh, like when we did all the mods 8, I tried to use bees because bees were available and I'd never done bees. And you know, the other day when we were talking about animals and ranking animals, we never mentioned bees. I remembered rats and totally forgot bees. That's another animal that makes stuff that we didn't talk about. So let's talk about that. Uh, if I, let, new ranking system. Best animal mod. Chickens, bees, cows, hogs, and then rats. That's That would be my five rankings of the animal material producing mods because I didn't have bees in there before. Bees I like better than cows. How to grow plants real quick. Uh, well, bone meal, of course. Uh, sprinklers. Make sprinklers. Not only are sprinklers really good, and they don't require power, you just set them on top of the water. Well, above the water. Uh, but their abilities stack. So if I put these two next to each other, they make each other better. If I have three, they make all three better. Four, all four better. Up to a five by, up uh, to a five by five. So these ones continue to make each other one better up to a certain point, and that makes everything grow real fast and you don't have to worry about it. Sprinklers. Bees, I enjoy bees. I, I like the bees quite a bit. I'd have been happier if, if it worked correctly. But, you know. Um, let's see. Reactor glass. I'm going to need some of those. We'll make a couple. Oh, I only made I only had enough for I didn't make enough reactors. No! I'm throwing things on the ground. Hi, Buffy! Oh, goodness, baby, you got something in your eye. Let me get it. Hang on, let me get this side, too. Okay. You okay? You all right? I was gone for most of the day. Buffy was very upset. Only one sprinkler? Yeah. Do do as many. Do a line of sprinklers. That sounds inappropriate. Bear with me a moment. Guys, I have to make a real quick, quick phone call. Give me one sec. I'll be fast, I promise. If she answers. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, I'm having. Okay, I'm back. All right. Hey, Casper, how you doing, boss? Uh, hey, Samir. Only one sprinkler? Yeah, totally going to work out more. All right. Is there not a trick to multiply the effects of watering cans? Not that I'm aware of. Just better watering cans. But with a watering can, you have to stand there and use it. That means you can't work on anything else. So, I mean, if you have to have what you're waiting on, a watering can's okay. But I like having sprinklers so I can go do other stuff and let it do all the work. I, I will always choose something automated over me having to stand there and do it over and over again. For sure. I need a lot of a reactor. What's the best? Uh, well, I mean, we just made this one. That's producing 25,000 RF per tick. Uh, but I'm about to make the mechanism reactor. And that is what I think is the best overall reactor. Doesn't mean it makes the most, but for the time it takes to make it, the fuel that it needs, and the difficulty in building it, the mechanism reactor. Logic adapt. I can't remember how many of these I need. How many of these? I tell you what, just, let's just make a stack. Of, oh, that's all of those I had? What did I run out of? Oh, steel casings. That makes way more sense. Make a bunch of those real quick. Forgot. I actually don't need a ton of these. I just need some of these for the other components. Okay. Uh, where was I? Here we are. This thing. Two of those. Yes. This thing. I'll make two of those. I can't remember off the top of my head which ones I need for what, to be honest. Now, where'd that reactor glass go? There it is. Reactor glass. We'll make a few reactor glasses. Okay. I'm also going to need to make a... But we'll get to that. That's the one of the last things we're going to need. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Now, let's go and try to remember. How to, I'm going to build it over here. What is a mistake you see a lot of players make in this pack? That's a hard question to answer because I really don't see other people's playthroughs that much. Uh, not a bad question, just hard to answer. <laughs> the most common thing, the most common thing I get is this. You go back over, go pick 10 random of my uh, of my tutorials, especially ones that might have a few steps in them, and you're going to find comment after comment saying, I did exactly what you did, and it's not working, and I don't know why. 99% of them come back and say, oh, I found what I did wrong. <laughs> you didn't do exactly what I did, or it would be working. I'm not saying that to be, it works, right? I, I, there's only one tutorial I've ever had where you cannot do the thing anymore. And that was a way to use a filing cabinet and a wireless item that was a cheat to duplicate items. And they did fix that shortly after I put the tutorial out. So I might have ruined that for me. I don't know if that was just coincidence or not. But after I put that out, that got fixed relatively soon. Um, but everything else, <clears throat> I've yet to come across a tutorial that doesn't work. Now, in many ways, I found ways that are better than the way the tutorial was. We may have a more improved process. If you look up some of the things, like how to automate some things, you might see Automate 2.0 because we found a better way to do it than the original one. Uh, but I've yet to come across one that doesn't work anymore. If, if you're following the steps exactly, it will work. Hey, Polar, have yourself a good one, boss. Okie dokie. So we've got this. You know what I didn't get? Any actual reactor frames. Boy, that'd be nice. I'm going to need some of them, too. Oh, I have one. Great. Can I make more? <laughs> no, I can't. I used up all the stuff. Uh, we found it. We found, we found better ways in, in, in quite a few different things over time. And sometimes when it's a huge difference, I'll make a tutorial about it. If it's just something minor, I usually don't mess with it. <clears throat> uh, I don't... The uncrafter is, isn't that useful for me. I, I, I use it for some achievements. Like in this playthrough, we used it to take apart AE stuff. I made the AE components just to get the achievement. I didn't actually build the system. Why did I come in here? Oh, right. Yes, I got to make things. Okay. So I need mechanism stuff. I need atomic alloys. Ooh, I hate refined obsidian. Okay. Refined obsidian is diamond... With crushed or pulverized obsidian. What is the fastest way to do that? Manufactory obsidian. Okay. 
Manufactory Obsidian. I actually don't have a ton of Obsidian in this playthrough. I haven't automated it. Because I've only needed a few. At a time. Uh, manufactory. manufactory. Alright, so that's going to make the first step. And then... Mechanism. Where did you go? There you are. Okay, I need the first tier. How many alloys do I have? Let's see. I have 197. I don't have... Oh, I got lots of reinforced alloys. Hell. I can skip the early phase. I just need the last phase. Sweet and legit. I like that. So all I need is this refined obsidian, and I'm good. So I just need diamond. How much diamond have I got? Crushed up. I should have a fair amount. Do I not? 1K. Eh, it's not bad. Okay. And then I need the obsidian that we were working on. Which is... Oh, God! I have 22,000 pulverized obsidian. I forgot I already did that. Whoops. My bad. Osmium compressor. What is this? Combining factory. Wait. Did I take it out of here? Infusing. Infusing. There it is. That. That. Yes. No, it's this one. So I'll put these in here. And I just got to keep adding some fuel in. We'll get a bunch of this real quick. Uh, let's see. You can use chorus fruits to get an extraterrestrial matter. Gotcha. Do you mean that the opposite way? You can use extraterrestrial matter to get chorus fruits? Do, 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 do. I have my dinner in front of me. I just, we had gotten home very shortly before the stream was about to start. We ordered some Petros. Does anybody out there not know what Petros is? I don't explain it if you guys already know. XP farm. Legit. For me, my XP comes from my mob farm, early game. And then mid-game, it comes from my laser farm. Because the laser farm makes so much XP. You have no idea. All right, cool. Petro's is a restaurant down here in the south. Uh, I live in Tennessee. Uh, and have you ever heard of a Frito pie? So basically a Petro is Fritos, the corn chip, with chili, cheese, sour cream, tomato, and chives. That's, that's what an original Petro was. The World's Fair in Knoxville back in like the 70s or 80s is where it was introduced and it became a thing. S chain of restaurants in the area. Uh, they also have some of the best hot dogs you can get from an actual, like, chain restaurant. Um, and my wife and I love Petro's, but there wasn't one in our town. Well, they just built one, and it opened up, I want to say, right at the beginning of February, and man, we have torn some Petro's up. Especially since it can be delivered through DoorDash. They're not a sponsor. I don't have any sponsors. I've never had a sponsor. I'd like one, but that's okay. <laughs> if I ever mention anybody, probably not a sponsor. But Petro's is the tits. And so I like their queso Petro. So instead of shredded cheddar cheese, they slather it in queso. So I ordered one. Oh, that's it? Is that all of them? Okay. Dump. Buzz, wasted the rest of the diamond. Okay. So, oh. Crap, there was some there. I guess I wasted all that. Okay. Uh, so anyways, we love them. So I ordered some today, and I asked for extra queso. They drowned it in queso. It was like getting a container of queso. It spilled everywhere. But it, I'm a, none of this is a complaint, mind you. I don't want you to, anybody to think I'm complaining with the things that I am telling you right now. <laughs> I loved it. Okay, so wait a minute. I did that, so now what do I need for the mechanism thing? Uh, but I've got it in front of me. <laughs> I, did I spell it right this time? Yay, Draven! Okay. So I need reinforced with refined the stuff. Okay. So I need reinforced. I feel like four should be enough. Um, but yeah, that's a Petro. We get, I get their queso hot dog, too. Which is just cheese and queso. Like... 
shredded cheese and queso. So good. If there's anything else in there, I don't know. I can't taste it for the queso. Uh, but yes, we adore them. Um, we went to her aunt's house for lunch today because it was a birthday lunch for several members of the family. Uh, I don't usually eat a whole lot there. I don't eat a whole lot of southern food. But uh, everything they makes all right. I just wasn't super hungry there. But I knew I was going to eat something for tonight. So I ate two hot dogs before the stream. And I got a Petro sitting in front of me begging me to eat it. I'm going to wait till after the stream, though. Because it's going to get everywhere. There's so much queso. Um, let's see. Now, another thing. Another thing that we both we all, uh, enjoy very much. Uh, we had a Lawn John Silvers in town. But it shut down years ago. Whoops. Give me. It shut down years ago. Well, they're rebuilding another one. I'm very excited about that. I'm very looking forward. I love Lawn John Silvers. Delicious, delicious noms. Okay. So now that we're back in black, we're good, good to go. Now I can go back to making some reactor stuff. Because I'm going to need at least one stack of those. Maybe two. Oh, and here's already 48 in there. Boy, that would have been nice to know. Okay. What's up, Awkward? Plenty of room over here to make one of these. Pow! I gotta try and remember how to make this now. I haven't made one of these in a while. I want to say it starts with a plus sign. Crap, I'm gonna have to look this up. Bear with me. I'm having to look something actually at the pattern. Uh, I don't want to go through all the trouble. <laughs> of course, my tutorial came up. Great. That's not what I need right now. <laughs> I need a picture. Show me a picture of the build. There it is. Ah, I remember now. I made it too big. It's or too small, I mean. It goes five by five, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then that. It's all coming back to me. See, this is the front, right? Yes. All right. So there's that. And then we go one. Is that? Yeah, that's right. Two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to change some of these later. I'm just putting down basic blocks right now, and then I'll swap them out for the other things I need them to be in a, in a little bit later. Two, three, and then. That's going to be four. Okay, there's that. Then we go back to this again. Back to this again. Oh, ran out. Give me a moment. I'll catch up to chat here in just a minute. And then this is going to be the one, two, three, four, five, five. Five, corner, 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 corner. Okay. Now, top middle gets broken out. Oh, I guess let me pull chat back up now. Uh, because that's where this is going to go. Well, technically that's done, but we're going to make more changes. Because I forgot to make a component. Didn't I? Where's the glass? There it is, the laser focusing matrix. Why does it give you two of those? You only need one. That doesn't make sense to me. But okay. Laser focusing matrix. Where's my glass? Uh, I'm going to... Is there any inside? Did I get them all? Yeah, I think I did. I want reactor glass there so I can see what's going on inside. I gotta drop one of those out. I gotta drop one of these out. I gotta drop one of these out. Now, I need to. Which one's this? Reactor port. Uh, it's capable of managing both gas and energy transfer. Basic monitoring of a reactor. Oh, I don't even need that block. I made, I made one shy of these. I need one more of these ones. Okay. Oh, not inside this. Do -do 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 Done. All right. So that's the basic shape of the thing. Let me see. Let me catch up on chat. Um, do, 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 was the best style of food? 
Normally, I'd say American, but if we're picking something other than American, I'm going to go Mexican, uh, Italian. I can eat pasta and pizza all day. Uh, doing another Sky Pro World, what do you think? Resources in the sky? Sure, why not? Uh, overworld type Sky Factory World, basically cheating. <laughs> no cheating in Sky Factory, but you're correct. It does make it easier. Yeah, of course, uh, yes, I try to stress that. If you're playing alone in a non-competitive situation, you can't cheat yourself. Uh, you may rob yourself of an experience, but you're not really cheating anyway. All right, so I don't need any of these. I am going to need the laser thing. What's the laser thing? What is the charging block again? Is that this? Is that what this is? Wait a right now. What's the block that I use to charge it? Why am I not seeing the block I'm looking for? Should be a block that has to shoot... <clears throat> I have to put something here that shoots laser in, it, something into it. And then I have to put lasers pointed at that to charge it up. But I don't remember what the block is. Uh, no, I don't want to look at my tutorial again. <clears throat> Crazy. Uh, fuel. Yes, I already know about fuel. This is not showing me. Direct the frame, ports, controller, glass, laser focus matrix. That's the thing I'm looking for. Here we go. Laser focus matrix. There you are. One of you. What, this? I already made that. This is the one I want. A laser amplifier? Is that the one I want? Yeah, I think that's the one I want. Okay. Laser amplifier. I'm going to need a battery. Laser amplifier, yes. Oh, God, I forgot to put lasers. Laser. I'm going to need some of these. One, two. Oh, they don't stack. Two. I think it's four that I use, maybe five. We'll start with four. I'm going to need flux. What the flux? <laughs> I'm easily amused. Two, three, four of those. I'm going to need some bricks to build with. Well, I guess I could have just done... Never yeah, mind. I'm an idiot. Lever. Do, 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 do. One lever. Okay. Uh, did over a... Rubbing your face? Well... That's like somebody... That's like somebody bragging they want to fight against a toddler. Brag all you like, boss. I'm not impressed. <laughs> it's like, you know... You know. If he really wants to brag about it, I mean, power to him, I guess. <laughs> doesn't doesn't serve him a whole lot, but okay. Okay, we're new one there. I really didn't need to. No, I did. I need to leave a space. That's right. One, two, three. Two, three. I knew you were going to be a problem. What a... Right. I guess the easiest way to say it is you can't cheat yourself. Would be how I'd, I guess I'd put that. Okay, that'll work. That's going to be a flux in there. And that's going to be pulling from the system. No! No! It's going to burn a hole in the wall! Dang it! you got to put this down the exact right way. Or else it's going to shoot lasers in the wrong direction. And it will eat a hole in the wall. I don't know if it was close enough to do that over here. No, it's far enough away that it didn't. We're good. <laughs> Gots to be careful. I normally don't put the power down first, but the middle one you kind of have to. Lasers. The laser will also hurt you. <laughs> don't step in the laser. I mean, I don't care too much, but I'm an android. I'm a robot. It's very cool. 
Laser. Padap. Okay. Is there a single player game? Nah, there's no such thing. You're playing a game to have fun, man. However you have fun playing, power to you. Who does it hurt, right? That's the thing to remember. You playing a game by yourself only affects you and the fun you have with it. If at the end of it you're like, oh, I feel bad because I did this and I really wish I hadn't, eh, then, you know, you might next time not do that. But if you had a fun experience and you had a good time and then you're ready to move on to your next pack, you're not cheating anybody. We play these games to have fun, right? If you're not having fun, why are you doing it, right? I don't think I needed that extra one. Padap! All right, now, hang on a second. I don't know if that's working. Why is that not taking any power? Oh, because it's currently on. Why is it shooting? I don't want it on. I need it off. Maybe uh, maybe this is too low. Maybe I need to put that up a little bit higher. No, that's not right. That should not be shooting a laser in there. I need it to not do that. You can't just put a freaking thing on it either. Why is that not working? Um... I mean, the laser's shoot in the right direction, so I know it's facing the right way. Unless that's the wrong blocks. I need, some, well, I need something to turn it off and then turn it on again. The lever is how I've always used it. Uh, let's see. Disabled. High. Low. Pulse. Disabled. See, it says it's disabled. This this isn't... Oh, there it is. I have to turn it on to that first, and then the lever works. That's what it was. Okay, that's the thing I forgot. Thank you for reminding me that that was there. Cool. So now this is charging. Now this has to get at least minimum to the halfway to have enough power to kick this in. Which I'm not worried about because we haven't even made any of the fuel yet. That's got to work on. I haven't made the fuel to start this up. I'll hold them. And I need the two fuels that go out of there. I am going to need a flux plug to pull the power out. We can go ahead and do that real quick. Because that's meant to put power back into the system. And I'm going to have to... No, nope, that was going to be power in. And what, what are you doing? Input? Okay. I'm sure. One of these is green in or out. I can never remember. Where's my mechanism tool? Flux can... That's not it. I forget what the tool is that does the things for mechanism. What is it called? There's a tool. There, is this it? Yes. Configurator. Output. That's what I want. Yes. This is going to be pulling power out. These are going to be taking stuff in. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, see. I'll put 24 hours in a game over a week and then forget about it. Huh? Okay. There you go. You enjoy it in the way you want to enjoy it. You know? If you're jumping into a multiplayer server and there's rules, that's different, right? That's just being a decent human being and following the rules. But, you know, for jamming and just playing by yourself, man, do whatever you need. All right. Uh, what you need? Yes, I have. I have come so far. Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> ah, you called me out. <laughs> it's true, but you know I'll forget it, right? Because we're gonna end up playing a pack where there isn't flux, and then I won't use it for a while. Then I'll come back and be totally confused. <laughs> my only consistency is my failure. Okay, so now we need the two. We need to make three fuels. One fuel for here. One fuel here, and one fuel to run our holdrum, which we only need a little bit of that. So let's make the holdrum fuel first. This is going to be a whole thing. We're going to have to make a compact machine. We're going to have to make farms. There's going to be a whole mess of things that need to be done. Nothing bad in there. Okay. 
Hey, not ex my helpful. We'll be back again here tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern if you'd like to come back and say hi. We will be here. Um, also, just as a reminder, for those of you who may not have been here at the beginning, in the first 10 minutes of today's stream, we broke 25,000 subscribers for the channel. And again, I want to thank everybody who has helped by, uh, you know, showing up, following, clicking like, subscribing, telling other people, friends and family members. Uh, there was a young, young lady I met at the uh, convention two weeks ago, who was uh, in one of our previous, came to our stream last time. And it was crazy because uh, I guess it was, I think she said it was her brother had sent her a tutorial on how to help something. And it was one of mine. And she's like, I actually just met that dude, <laughs> which is Kind of coincidental, he just happened to do that the week after, right? But uh, 25,000, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty excited about it. Okie dokie. Grab all this. Whole room. Need our whole room. Okay. All right, so we need... What are the fuels we need again? Boop, boop, boop. Isn't it... I, th I know it's deuterium, but I can't remember what the other one is. Uh, concentrate... Yes, deuterium and tritium. Okay. Deuterium and tritium. That's what we're looking for. Deuterium. It's not what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it because it bugs people. Deuterium. I need deuterium. This is deuterium. We got to make it. So let's start by going boop. Let's add that to the list. That's also deuterium, but we're going to use mechanism deuterism because this is mechanism. And tritium is the other one. You are correct. Tritium. Thus of this one. That one's way harder. But we're still going to make it. This is going to require farms. Large farms. Alright. So, what, what did I just do? Deuterium? Where'd the tritium go? Oh, that's deuterium. Right, tritium. This also makes deuterium, but it doesn't make it in high enough numbers. Alright. Deuterium and tritium. That doesn't... Something is wrong about that. That's right. It hardly makes any tritium. Is there not another recipe? Well, obviously from a fusion reactor, but we're not messing with that. That is the only way to make it. Heavy water produces tritium into an electrolyzer. Mm. You're correct. It is the green one. There's the solar. That makes way more sense. Thank you. I was looking at the wrong tritium. Good sauce. I hate this thing. <laughs> so here's the problem. Here's where I'm going to be concerned. Will I get sunlight in a world with lava? You know what I mean? Do I need to build this up at the top of the world where there's light? Or will just having a glass ceiling looking up into lava still produce sunlight? Ha! Huh. I feel like it will. So here's my, here's my options, right? So I could make this in a compact machine. But I'm not sh the, the farm, the basic reaction. But then I am a little snug for space. Or I could not put a door in the side of this wall and just build it in a room next to it. The solar part won't work in a compact machine. I've tried that before, if I remember correctly. Because even though there's light in there, it's not considered sunlight. All right, we're going to test a thing. It's time for testing. First, we're going to need sand and glass. 
This is how we test. This is this is science. Science. Okay. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to put the glass in there. Just to be on the safe side. I've already cleaned the lava on top of this, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so that's where I want to put my solar machine to see if it's getting any power. And I forget what that's called. Is it going to come under solar? It does! Oh, no. Can I make... No! Stop making me make things. There's a stack of them. I'm tired of doing that. These I'll make a little more picky. Science! I won't know it's working because it doesn't show me a power thing. It only works when there's sunlight. And it's currently nighttime because I can see through the ceiling. When it's daytime, I can't see through the ceiling. To the bed! Wait, no, we tried that. Me getting in a bed broke it. I actually have tutorials on a lot of this. <laughs> we'll see if it works first. I have tutorials showing how to get the fuels. I just don't know if this is going to get sunlight. The problem is, I need the fuel to plug it in there to see if it'll work during the daytime. So I still have to make the thing. Okay. Tritium. We're going to start with tritium because it's easier. It's just a farm. <clears throat> so I need to turn... Uh, lithium. Liquid lithium. So I need a lithium farm... <clears throat> And I need that lithium farm running into a chemical oxidizer. Got it. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. Didn't I have a farm over here somewhere? Yes. Whatever I was making in here, I don't even really need anymore, I don't think. Let's go see. I'm trying to see if I can... Use a pre-built farm and then having to make a whole new one. Lazy, I'm being here. What are you producing? Steel seeds. What else? Uh, uh. Tiny bit of lithium. Okay, well, I've already got some lithium seeds in here. And you're making fluix. Well, I know I'm not going to need that crap anymore. Yuck! Disgusting AE! Gross! Okay, I, I don't know how I am on steel. I'm going to have to go take a look. When available, mystical is usually the easiest. Kind of, my, kind of my jam. When it's available. Steel. I have 51,000. That's probably enough to last me. All right, cool and the gang. Let's go. Uh, ran into a wall. Probably could have flown. Didn't think about that. Okay. So basically, this farm is going to provide our lithium. <clears throat> so once it has lithium, that's going to feed out into a chemical oxidizer, which is going to give us our... Which, that's when we feed that into the solar machine to get our tritium. Got it. Okay. Let's make... Wait, what's this one do? What's that give me? Hold on a second. What am I doing that one for? I need lithium juice. Right, yeah, it comes from that. comes from that. Okay, lithium juice. So I need a chemical oxidizer. Let's make one of those. I will not have all the stuff. Okay. A personal chest... And a basic tank. And you didn't want to grab the chest. Piggy butt. Okay. I'm going to need another flux. I'm going to need mechanism tubes, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, let's see. So that's... Oh, God. I forgot, an, I forgot an important part of the process. Hold on. 
I need two ultimate gas tanks. One, two. Advanced. One, two. Elite. One, two. Ultimate. The ultimate driven. <laughs> And then I need some blocks. Mulch York. Storage number one. Storage number two. So the fuel's going to feed into those tanks. So that way they will build up. Because this solar thing's going to turn off at night. So I need to build up the fuel faster. Then it can use it. All right, so in a perfect world, this would feed into that, but the glass is over here. So I'm going to temporary build it over here just to see if it works. No! Dude, that make me so mad. Hang on. Um, bucket. I'm going to need some water working room. Grab that. And I'm going to need... Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Factory block. Actually, I can grab a stack of that. I'm probably going to need it again. How much time we got? 15 minutes. Huh? If we can get this at least process started, I can start building up on the lithium. Uh, so this thing loads in from the bottom. And comes out the front. So this is the excess. This is where it should be produced. Which means I need the other machine we made. To go. I believe it's. That is not the direction. Why would you do it sideways like that? So that means I need it to go that way. Yes. And then tubes will go up in there. And then the physical items should come in here. Okay. See if this works. Um. Let me just grab a chest. No, I don't know if chest is going to work. Yeah, we'll try a chest. Chest. I'm not in my side of my thing. Uh, we'll grab a big old giant chest. And we'll slap that guy right there. Boy, that was way off center, wasn't it? Draven failed. That was fail. The carpet's throwing me off. I promise. It's not that I'm pure failure. <laughs> okay, I'm totally failure. We're going to set it there. <laughs> <laughs> cable. <laughs> Item extraction cable. Put that. Again, we're just testing right now. I need a tube. But I forget. Is it What's this making? A liquid? A gas? What is this stuff? So it's taking lithium millibucket into tritium millibucket. But is it a gas or is it not a gas? Is this a liquid or a gas? I don't know how to tell. I think it's a liquid. I think that it matters because of the tubes. Isn't, that, isn't tubes liquid? That's gases. It's a gas. Okay. Okay, so I do need tubes then. Okay. Tube. I'm going to need pressurized tube for gases. I should have done that inside of here. There's a tube. Okay. So the tube will go there. That will lead the thing in there. And then I just need some lithium dust, which I should have some just kicking around. I have 3K. That's, that's some. So we'll take a few of this to see if it works. Okay, that machine is working, even though I forgot to give it power. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no, that's tubes, not power. That one. Okay, now that one has power. So it should have juice. Yes. This is filling up, but it's still nighttime. The last time I slept, it broke the game and we had to reboot it. Because <laughs> so I'm an android and technically you're not supposed to sleep as an android. 
Right, I knew the end fuel was, was gas. I just wasn't sure if what I'm making in the oxidizer, it could be turned from a liquid to a gas or from a gas to a gas. That's what I wasn't sure about. I wasn't sure about the lithium. The other two I knew were gases because they have to go in these gas tanks. But the liquid one, or the, the, this one, I didn't know what that was turning into. So until it goes daytime, I don't know if that's working. How frustrating. Oh, you know what we can make real quick? We can make a clock. Let's make a clock. I think I probably have a million of them. 32. That's like a million when you think about it. Frames! Uh, we'll use a fancy frame for this. Padap! It's almost daytime. You know, I wonder if these fancy frames disappear. I don't know. I've never... Never tried to use the fancy frame. The regular frames will disappear sometimes when you go inside or outside of a compact machine. I ended up not needing that hole. Yes. Come on, daytime. We're on the clock. Clock. All right. So if this goes as planned, then basically this is going to go over here. I'm just going to flip it around so it's coming from the back side. And instead of a ch this chest, we'll have the compact machine feeding into it. I could put mechanism upgrades in this. Let's do that, too. Because I'm definitely going to want that. Upgrades. Do I have any made? No. Okay. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that's the fuel one. Oh, that's the speed one. Then I need the fuel one. Three? What in the hell? Damn it, Bobby. Oh, no, I ran out of those things. Crap. All right, well, I'll start by giving you these and these. Oh, I got to wait for them all to go in. One in a regular frame next to it. What a wonderful idea. I, that's the, uh, Caspin, that's what I did in the last All the Mods 8 playthrough. But that's also solar powered is the only problem with those. Part of the reason I was shying by, this is already solared enough. This at least could keep make, this if I remember correctly goes way faster than this does. Whoa! Green juice! Daytime! Alright, good deal. So that is getting sunlight. Okay. This goes faster than this. So if I have this running all the time, it then when this kicks in during, during the day, it'll make up for it. Excellent. So this is going to work. Delicious. Oh, thank you. I can put the difference in here. I don't know what I was thinking. You're 100% correct. It's solar power. I need the other five for that. Come on, suck it up. There's the other ones. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'm done with this. I'm not going to need these because I fixed the hole. Um, yes, all of this is groovy. So here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to build all this again by putting... That goes in there, and I'm going to need some building blocks. Uh, let's get some cobble. That'll work. So i got to make sure how this places. Yes. Okay, that worked. So I get rid of this. Put a tube. Hold on. Whew. Sneezy face today. I almost always sneeze a minimum of three times, sometimes four. All right, now how did we place this? It was this way last time, right? It was. Power. <clears throat> Pick all that up. Get rid of 
those. Chest is going to go here because I want the buffer. That I can use an item extraction cable. That can start working. <clears throat> that I'm going to need another extraction cable. Then we just have to set up our farm, and that will be lithium. Unfortunately, we already had a farm pre-built. I just got to get rid of the seeds that are in there. I'm not going to need that, 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 that. I'm going to need that. I need to fix. Lithium seeds. Now this, this might take a minute. <laughs> I don't have any of those. Okay. What did we math out? Wasn't it like a hundred, hundred and something seeds per level? I'm going to do 300 seeds and see how many I can get out of that. I went too far. I went. I took it too far. Take it. We got seven minutes. Now I did it again. <laughs> ah! One, two, three. There's three levels to this thing. I made. I made four by accident. That's okay. So there's three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. This is one of those ones that legs out a little bit. Come on, push it out lagged. Oh, the whole game's lagged. Uh oh, I may have made too many seeds too quickly. I can't open up anything. I broke it. If I broke it in the last five minutes, I'm okay. There we are. I fixed it. Nothing to worry about. I don't even know why you guys are freaking out. It's fine. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, you're right. Solar. I forgot about that. Let me, let me fix that real quick before we do anything else. So this is going to continue to work while we're going. Get a piece of glass. Come on, line up. Now. Whoops. Let's make sure that's lined up correctly. Yep. Cloud. Yee Excellent. That's done. So that is going to be solar for that guy. So that should start running now. It is daytime. Yeah, dead empty. It's already pumping into there. Good sauce. Okay. Um, I was making seeds. Yes, seeds. See, if I get this started, I can always finish the rest off camera. One. Fifteen! That's unacceptable. I've run out of green. I need green. I don't know if that's enough, but hopefully it is. Uh, let's see. One, two. I'm going to end up making a few extra here. I know it. Oh, lagging out again. <laughs> Seeds are killing it. Uh, hold your sneeze. That is correct. You could blow your brains out. Literally, blow your nose. Not with it, but to, no. Blow your nose, your brains out. That's what I mean. There we go. Excellent. I made the exact amount. Delicious. Now you wait. I'm not, I'm not going to have enough orange. <laughs> One. Ha 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 ha. I knew it. <laughs> Bastards. Okay. And. No, not out of green. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine, but I wanted to make it out of. Wanted to make it out of blue. Whoop. That should be enough. You wait, I'll have to break down blue now, too. That's just how this works. Shrink. 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 All right, is that enough for all three? Still thinking about it. This is slowing down my jams. Two hour phone conversation. I understand. I have to go to bed. I got to work. Oh, I made extra by accident. Okay. And then blue, the last one. Oh, I forgot to put these away. Okay, let's try that again because that was my fault. There's one stack and some. Two, three. Okay, I've clicked it. Now I just got to wait for it to happen. 
Wait for that magic to happen. I got 55,000. To be honest, I could have just funneled those out using an export cable and then ground them into dust. But then I have a finite amount, right? Even though I'm getting some for my laser drill, I ran out of blue. I told you that would happen. Uh, and I'm not a fan of that. Having finite amount, I would much rather know I'm going to have enough, you know? This will produce forever. So, technically. Funk. There's my three. Okay. Lithium seeds. One. Two. They still ran out of blue. All right. That's nowhere near enough, but it's enough to get started, and I can make the rest later. I can do the rest off camera once you guys see me get the first start part. Part started. Boy, that was really bad grammar. Shrink. All right. So that is blacklisted. That whitelisted. I'm fine with that for now, even though we're going to get rid of it. Stop that. Get out of there. That's fine. Let's start on the bottom. As long as I got enough for the bottom, I'm good. I can always make the other two layers off camera and have that done for tomorrow night. I'll just go in and break down a bunch of essence. I haven't done it in a while. I have tons of Supremium Essence. I just haven't broken it down into the lower levels yet. The Supremium Essence I got from Deep Mob Learning. That's where I got my, all my Supremium from. Now, turn that off for a minute. This side's, this one's already set for lithium, which is nice. I don't have to do anything other than put more seeds in. Tier 2 is already set for lithium. So we'll put in as many as we can. Then we'll check production. I, I'm willing to bet two levels is probably going to be enough. I doubt that the machines up there are going to be able to keep up with that, but we'll, we'll, we'll watch to be sure. I also don't want this thing to get clogged. Right, I, got, well, I got three seeds left. I'm fine with that. Okay. I needed that. You're back on. Oh, no! i got to bring a hoe back and fix that. It's going to drive me crazy. Uh, oh, I didn't put seeds over there. Crap. <laughs> All right. There we go. And I can do this. Uh, this is going to blacklist this. And this is going to whitelist this. So now they go to the right spot. And pink stuff still goes to hell. All right. Cool and the gang. So we've got lithium production up and going basically now. Do you play vanilla anymore? I do not. In fact, I don't... Other than, like, I think I dabbled in a vanilla for, like, one episode and got bored. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I don't think I, I have. I also don't have the tunnel feeding out into this yet. I'll have to fix that. But we're at time. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to let this run all day. So this will be charged. We should be able to have this up and running by tomorrow, or by tomorrow night. Uh, so tomorrow night's stream, we will finish. I'll get the rest of the lithium set up here, so we'll start making that fuel. Um, as of tomorrow, I will make the second fuel. That's what we'll work on, get this up and running. And then when and I'll see if I have time, I'll try to I'll try to increase our induction size. If I have time to sit there and craft it all, we'll have to wait and see. I, I can't guarantee it. Depends how busy we are at work. Um, yeah, so we'll have this running tomorrow. So we actually got the we got a lot done today, really. We got the achievements for this. We've got this set up seventy five percent of the way, right? Because the other fuel is actually easier to make, I think. No, it's not. It's horrible. Never mind. <laughs> the other one will do too. So, overall though, I'm okay with it. I feel like we made a fair amount of progress today. Um, I will probably get another compact machine running for tomorrow for the other fuel. 
But that's going to do me for today because my wife's calling me. She, she knows it's time for me to be off stream. Uh, again, thank you everybody who came by and hung out with me tonight. Sorry for the flub in the first couple minutes there with my power going out. Uh, but I appreciate you still sticking with me. Uh, if you had a good time, please remember to click the like button. And remember to hit subscribe so you can hang out with us. We are currently at 25,010. So we've had 11 subscriptions since the stream started today. So thank you very much uh, once again for helping me hit the 25,000 mark. I'm very excited about that. Um, remember to check out my website, onlydraven.com, where you can find the ODG store. For cool ODG merch, you'll find links to all my socials. If you want to follow me on any of that stuff, uh, go to TikTok. You'll see, fun, you'll see my cute cat videos. Um, you'll also find links to the Discord. If you're not one of my Discord, please come by and join that as well. Lots of good stuff on there. But I had a good time with you guys, and I am looking forward to jamming some more tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll try to do some statues. We didn't get to that today. We might start on our first nuclear reactor fusion. At least the components for it. It won't be running, that's for sure. Cool. All right, kids. I'm going to call that a day. I hope you have yourself a wonderful Monday, if such a thing is even possible. And I hope I get to see you again real soon. All right? Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.